and live? Did you say yep. and live? Yep. And live. Oh, That's I how we're doing it? Look like a whale. Right. Why didn't anyone tell me I look like a whale? Like a crypto Jeez. whale. This man's holding. Have you seen his stop. portfolio? Stop. Stop. What a whale. You want to yeah. stall? I need more time. You need more time. Okay. Uh, uh, hey, uh, the, uh, uh, the, 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 the Jets yesterday, when they got that the oh, defensive and then the pick. the ball? Yeah, that's right. And, the, and the ball? I watched. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, hey, everybody. Okay. Welcome to Attack of the Show Presents Vibe Check. It's me, KP. Stranger danger, stranger danger. Who is he? Who's in the studio? Oh, an actual celebrity? That, I think that's true. Is it a celebrity? It's the Golden Boy! El Nino de Oro! I feel like I'm being overselled. There was a graphic and everything. Where's my picante graphic? Fresh off his free agency, Golden Boy, sitting at the table, ready for the chit and the, the chat. Uh, uh, woo, Not woo. missing a beat. It's. <laughs> I feel like I'm with like you know Parks and Recreation. You know, uh, was it Crazy Ira and the and, and the, the douche? douche. And the I douche. feel like which one? Shh. Like uh -huh. the, douche, yeah. the Nina, the Penta, the Santa Maria. It's the Casim Jesus. He asked me to say <laughs> that. He asked me to. He asked me to say that. Hey, uh, he well, Kasim G is here. It's good to have you, buddy. It's good to be back. It's great to have For you. For a while here, I just thought it was the uh, Will and Gina show. <laughs> well, you guys would come <laughs> mm. on, you talk shit about me. What? Yeah, I saw what you wow. guys said about me. About the new Kevin? Yeah, it's just... Well, you didn't call me the new Kevin. You uh, just said the show would be better without me. No, it's, I'm just making... I, were we talking about you uh, or about yeah, You were talking... New... And you called me a... Ooh. But you, wait, you were that? we talking about that... Oh, mm, mm, that is mm. Kasim G, who said on Attack of the Show, mm, yeah, yeah, that yeah. was the new, yeah, that is, that's yeah, right. And I'm like, you know, it's crazy. I am. The I, I used to have a show, <laughs> and you better believe it. <laughs> and we're gonna, we're gonna get. Shot okay, now we missed that. Now that was a moment because I was, I was talking about. Uh, yeah, mm. I feel like they're just. That's too yeah, much. I know. I yeah. know. Yeah. But this is like when don't slow that down. Swear words. But while me, we were doing that, yeah. Yeah. also, by the way, everybody, Vanessa on the ones Vanessa. and twos, Vanessa, get out of us here. Vanessa. But while we were doing Crap. that, Golden Boy said something. He dropped some alpha intel. He said, What's the alpha? <laughs> I used to have a show. <laughs> yeah. He did it. Rest in power. Boosted. Boo. Boo. Yeah, you, said, you called it too. Well, yeah, you know, boosted. let me be clear. I would like to say we 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 at Boosted think that the show ended because our first episode, Kevin Perra <laughs> basically came in and said, oh, no. you got, you know, <laughs> you know, he was like, eventually when we're going to need this space for attack of the show. And then funny enough, the week Boosted gets canceled, yeah. Yeah. you guys used yeah. the Boosted space. That's crazy. Or as, or as I've told been told, sunsetted. You can't say that on every show you go on. Uh, oh, it's only a matter of time before we go under. First One of, of all, them are going to go under. Using the boosted desk, it's kind of like a nose to tail thing. You can't let any part of the studio carcass no. go to waste. We okay, so you can't fault us for that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, okay. Yeah. Gotta We're make a hot dog. Yeah. Thank you. Gotta it's like Carl Weathers taking every bit of the bone to make a stew. Got a stew going. Got a stew going. And if I am one of those folks who says, we're due for a big one. <laughs> I'm eventually right when the earthquake hits. Yeah, right. Right about yeah. Anchorage in 1912. 100%. Yeah. One of my many what was great predictions. It was a big one. And so I yeah. do, you know, that was the joke that was written for me was to come on and razz <laughs> the boosted team yeah, about I that. Yeah. I and I didn't feel that until I was a guest on your show. I want you to know that. Yeah. 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 I loved my time on boosted. I will have you know. We all have fond memories of Boosted. We, uh, memories are a uh, thing. That's all we make here. That's like that's a SpaceX rocket. You put too much boost in it, sometimes you're going to explode. Yeah. And that's how we learn. That's yeah. how we go to You the guys world. left the pad. It's you true. left the pad. Right? You At least your degree is in orbit it, it, somewhere. Yeah. And, and, you know, maybe uh, it'll crash land, right? And you are space all. junk. Thanks. I, I, well, I woke up in the morning. You're a hazard for I, other I launches, which we hope are successful. <laughs> I, looked at the, I looked at the mirror and I was like... Your space junk, your space, <laughs> you know, and I and I kept You're saying, okay to go. Your you, you know how much Earth junk, junk there is? Yeah. Only a small fraction of an itty bitty percentage gets to be space junk. I don't know. Mm. Have you ever looked into the NFT market? <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of pain. I there. have, Kevin. That's all. That's all a boy can dream to be. It's by the true. way, is to have something that becomes debris that could rain down on a small village. Yeah, somewhere. that's and that's, that's you now. Yeah. You're a global threat. Thanks, guys. Congratulations. A sensation. 
<laughs> One of the worst things I ever did um, in my life was uh, we used to play with bottle bottle rockets as a mm-hmm. kid. Yeah. And for uh, those who don't know, the the this is around the nineteen, the folks in the chit in the chat. Yeah, this is when <laughs> you put down the hoop and stick. Yes, yeah, right. Like, <laughs> put some oil in the lamp. Like kick the can. <laughs> We do that whole thing. We I, we found some bottle rockets. You could buy them at a store. Explain for the folks in chat, by the way, exclamation point Q for your questions and comments in chats. That's how Vanessa sees them. That's how we can interact with them. Yes. Hi, chat. We see you. We do see you on the YouTube and on the Twitch. We appreciate you. F's for the fantastic show we're going to have. For a bottle rocket, for those who do not right. know, Please is... Loop for my bots in the chat. A bottle rocket is just a, a tiny little... Uh, Explosive. Three stage... Uh, you know, it it is an explosive. I used to play with those. You used to play with them. I'm from Central America, though. We we play with fireworks like they're still, still doing that, like over still there. like all the time. Thanks. And uh, we used to we used to do it as kids. We used to do it in school, whatever. But uh, anything we could, we'd love anything that blew up or we could light on fire. And there was a whole every kid goes through like a arson phase. Not like, every, but not every, every kid. Yeah. Go on. Uh, I think that's a dangerous blanket. State. Yeah, go on, Cass. And so uh, we were playing with bottle rockets, and one of our friends found a lizard. Oh, no. Cass. And oh, no. he was a little baby guy. Little Cass. baby guy. That's terrible. Do we have to tell this? And we taped him to the Cass. Cass. So messed up. We taped dude. him to the bottle rock. How is this related to boosted? We, oh, we it's boosted about him death. up into the <laughs> oh, okay. It's about death. That's it. Yeah. That's just all it is. <laughs> the cycle of life. He <laughs> shot up like a like a rocket. Yeah. 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 Parachute deployed. Mm-hmm. Comes down. Mm-hmm. We had to check if he was still alive. Sure. He did he did he, he still have his helmet? He he did not have a helmet. Oh, what about the cape? The air up there was so thin. Yeah, it's tough to breathe. Yeah, no oh, cape. Okay. I'm almost certain lizards are not meant to be that high in the sky. I'm not proud of this, but it's just something I did as a mm-hmm. kid. He didn't move for ten minutes. He was in shock. He had never seen the Earth from that vantage point. He sure. could see the curvature in the Earth. Well, allegedly. Was, yeah, that's right. Yeah. And then, <laughs> uh, the sharp and then edge. he moved and scurried away. And what do you alive. think he told hey. the other lizards? Like, do you think he was like? <laughs> he they like, all thought up. he was a he was a crackpot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got abducted. Yeah, I got abducted by aliens. I exactly. think he's their lizard god now. We call yeah. him Liz Armstrong. <laughs> How many lizards have been that high? That's right. Do hmm? you think he punched another lizard in the moon for saying that he didn't go to the moon? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> the exact same thing Buzz Aldrin did. That's incredible. He like flew up to the sky, saw like life as it is, came back down, went back to his lizard buddies, and was like, "Bro, you're not gonna believe what I just saw, dude." Yeah. You know those things that we walk on that are like really like just like weird, weird brown color? Yep. They got green stuff on them. Dude. Oh, I thought you were implying that they the, the weird brown thing strapped them to a rocket. And also the weird brown thing strapped them. Now, <laughs> regarding <laughs> boost. It was summer and I was a shade darker. Yes. Yes, Kevin. <laughs> it's just science. <laughs> weird, sexy brown thing. I am so delighted to be at this table with the two of you. Yes, and and of Vanessa, I feel you here. Hello. Feel your presence. I'm here. I I, I really want us to have the best the best show ever. He like this would be great. Do you want to act, do you want to have a sincere anything about Boosted? By the way, because I know you did make a video which a lot of people shared. It's on the Reddit. Oh yeah. Uh, do you want to have a moment that of sincerity about it, or should we? Oh yeah, no. Trash I, mean, I, I, I think I think. Uh, <laughs> Let this be the place. Okay. Tell us about that Ovali. I I think that no you know. Uh, oh Like I, I, you know, oh, I made. Mess. Oh, <laughs> I made my oh, video. Oh, I talked about uh you know like what like transpired and also uh like the team and stuff and i think everyone's like pretty you know happy and confident about what could potentially come from the future so i and there's like really nothing negative about it like and if i'm being honest you know doing an esports show uh is is just incredibly difficult yeah uh it's a medium that does not have a lot of like uh like central voices you know like doing this kind of thing and you know making a kind of sketchy sketch comedy type of show uh, around esports is, is always going to be challenging and there's there's a reason why it hasn't really been done before i'm glad we tried it right uh you know and i'm hoping that others can like look at it and see like what we did and maybe like take it to another direction mm-hmm. or you know like don't it's perfectly fine uh because like esports is gonna succeed you know no matter what uh, i i think what made me happy was that a lot of people who had watched boosted and had no interest in esports were were actually like into the show mm-hmm. and i thought that was actually kind of cool you it know? made yeah. me interested in esports like sincerely i watched boosted every week and i had bagel understanding of esports and i had a fantastic time tuning in yeah yeah it was a fun show to do you know and the team worked incredibly hard and we had a 
difficult task ahead of us to like try and make esports relatable to like you know people who have no interest in esports. Uh, I remember seeing when uh, like people like myself or Frost or Avali were like announced. Uh, it was this weird message. People were like, "Oh, esports! I hate that thing," you know. And and I just hope yeah. that we could have only made it just a little bit more palatable for for folks who have no interest. But it's perfectly fine. I hear you. We're trying to make comedy for an audience that is uh, disinterested in laughing. Yeah. At least that's what the analytics say uh, <laughs> on Attack of the Show. So I feel you. Yeah. I feel you. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's real tough. You know, you got people got to laugh. It is a sincere uh, rarity in the industry to get a rocket off the pad. And they all, over time, come crashing back down. Yeah, or exactly. Explode. You know? So as long as you had a good time with your team and, and yeah, feel accomplished. Yeah, I, 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 got, I got to like work closer with, uh, with Frost and Avli, who are... You know, two folks I never worked with in esports. Mm -hmm. um, like I never had any, it, like, because I don't work in League of Legends, so that was like their whole world. As a result of that, it was great to kind of like expand my knowledge set, but also like work with people who are passionate and uh, you know just fun to work with. And Avli and Frost are two of the most genuine people. I mean, you guys not preaching to choir, but they're they're amazing folks. Yeah, yeah. but I saw, I saw a comment that said uh, Avli's got way more time to read Dick Fight Island now. She does. And I'm happy for her. Oh, you weren't there. Oh, you weren't there for that. No, I but I watch. I watch her, religiously. Her book. And this happened on uh, on Attack one of the show. Yes. Okay. It, it sounds like you ago. didn't want you didn't you don't know what we're. Talking. No, I don't want to lead the witness. I don't want to spoil it for those who haven't seen yeah, Attack yeah, of the yeah. Show You're from just, two weeks ago. Yes. When Avali yeah talked about Dick Island. Yeah. Dick, fight, yes. Fighting Island. Fighting. Dick fight. Dick fights. Island. There it is. Yeah. Got there. Yeah. You yeah. Totally so I get it, and that's great. And we're gonna take a commercial break, <laughs> and when we come back. <laughs> Oh man, we got some fire photoshops from the Discord. We've got something that Kasim wants to talk about. More animal abuse stories. Well, wow. Oh, I think no. we're okay with that. Thank Cass. you, GB. Thank no. you. We hit our quota. We're good. We'll okay. be right back. It's a vibe check. Stay there, please. Don't hurt animals. Hmm. That? No, I didn't. I don't I don't get invited to things. Oh, there's no invite. It's a <laughs> they announced yesterday. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Vibe Check. It's me, KP. I'm here with GB, KG, and VG. Hey, that works. Do you not want to be my friend today? I do. Do you? You, you started this whole thing off before we uh, started streaming. You started, uh, started calling me all kinds of words. Like what? Friend? Wonderful stuff. What? Like friend. Yeah. To so him, sure. Talented. Handsome. Oh, well, if you... Mm. Mm. Are we, yeah. doing, are we doing headsets? Are we doing headsets? Well, you guys want, you want to do one ear? You want to do uh, no, I took one Pro Tools? Yeah. Oh, that's what that's I do. I, keep I, go, so I go one here and then I do this so that I don't flatten the bangs yeah. because yeah. headphones aren't, I get doofus hair if I do both. Oh, okay. I have sweet no the hands. so I think I'm like, Maybe right. a low pass filter. Hold on. Mm. Yep. Check the mids. Yeah. Kicked up that gain. <laughs> you add a cloud lifter on Let's add a, yeah, cloud lift to about 6 dB and I need a pad on the limiter and then compress the side chain. And yep. then let's Incredible. just uh, tweak oh, you, the tweeters. Yeah, I, I got to, we got to do a normalization a pass. If you want any more than 3 dB increase. I'm worried about clippage. Absolutely. Yeah. And okay, you know, I want to I want to pop the red, but I don't want to live in it. You know what I mean? I want to flirt with that's the right. edge, but yeah. I don't want to marry it. Tiptoe. Yeah. You that's really want to, you really want to be like this. Dude, that's graphic. You want to be like Can that. Can we show that? That is graphic. Are we allowed to you show Not on linear. <laughs> this cannot go on. <laughs> wow. Can't. Sorry. Wow. Guys. Send that to Cinemax late night. Yeah. 11 p.m. Can oh, they, oh, can we get real sex back? Oh, oh no. dude. Taxi real cab sex confession. with a, I, I actually like real sex more than taxi cab confession. Showtime has a similar one. What, to real sex? Yeah. Like it, present day? Yes. Interviewing drunk people outside of bars? Well, it doesn't have the interview. And then going to like party. weird, well, I should say weird, but going to interesting communities interesting where people dress as horses and brush each other. It's interesting paraphilias that different people hold and maybe yeah. participate in. It's similar. It doesn't have the man on the street stuff, but it does have the other. I love the man on the street. Real the man sex was really such for. a disappointment, especially if you were trying to service yourself late night and you come across, you go, here's a show, your real <laughs> sex. And then you turn it on. All of a sudden there's a, uh, an old folks <laughs> nudist camp that yeah, you're watching. That's right. This yeah. guy named Gerald whose right. balls are hanging. There's they're Punch using them the in the hacky sack circle. It's just an old weather yeah. sack that they're kicking around. And you're sitting there holding yourself and you're waiting for a sexy moment to happen. Yeah. But just like every uh, 10 minutes of that show, there's 30 seconds of a booby and then that's it. And the rest is just guys is like a pale white thighs and in, in buttocks. You really seem like you've lived this experience. Like, a yeah, lot. that's not, you know, like, I mean, like, that's a learn. It's, it's a pre-internet experience yeah. Yeah. i was gonna say the 30 seconds though is all you needed at that formative age you learned that's all you were looking you learned for. to maximize your time 
That's Cinemax right. in my mm. I gotta tell you, one of the best moments, I came home from school one day and when, when cable boxes had just first come out. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Did you have the pirate one? The Gerald no, box? No, no. We did everything above board, Kevin. Okay. We were not my not old man. Me. I, I had all the Channel 99. Coming from another oh, yeah. country, you immigrate, you gotta do things by the book because any sure. moment they could kick you right out. That's right. So we got a real cable box. I came home and every day you would uh, check. So this was one of those cable boxes where you click on a channel mm-hmm. that you didn't have, like an HBO, because we didn't. Yeah. And they would come in clear for. Half a second. Yeah, until and the then copy protection fuzzy. clicked in. I come home. I do my regular rounds. I go through Playboy Spice Channel. I line on one of the Spice, <laughs> Spice channels. Spice Channel. It stays crystal clear for like 10 minutes. What? Yeah. No. I oh, yeah, the you skip the authentication sure no home. I yeah. have to lock the doors. Mom, go to the grocery store. Yeah. Mom. No. Ma, we need groceries now. I need no, I can't go with you. Uncrustables. <laughs> Uncrustables. I'm turning into a gusher. I don't need them. I'm going to crust. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm going to squeeze it. Such I, a fun memory. I actually have a, a similar story. I, it was one that was uh, left me with a lot of shame, though. Go on. Uh, so I, I was, we lived in this uh, apartment building in the Bronx. It was like, the, you know, like, I don't know if you've guys seen like how New York arch- architecture for some of these older buildings are oh, yeah. like, they have like this very weird walkway into the, into the lobby. And then like, but the building itself is like shaped like a U almost. Mm-hmm. So like, as you're walking, you kind of can like look inside people's homes. Of course. Right. Yep. Uh, so one day I was flipping through cable. I was by myself and I had stumbled upon I don't remember which one it was. I want to say it was Spice. Uh, I don't. I don't you recall. You tripped and or fell into pornography. Maybe a yeah. spike. But here's the thing. Maybe a spike. Maybe a spike. Maybe a spice. Who knows? I. Uh, I, I. Yeah, it was Spice. I'm pretty sure. And I remember I was like watching. I was like, oh my god! Like I was shocked. I was a kid. I had no idea what was going on. I was seeing all of these things that I had never like seen before. You mm-hmm. know, and mm-hmm. sweat, and yes. you know, just yeah. It was is that an elbow? Oh, yeah. oh, oh wow. wow! Impressive. You know, that was always the thing. Yeah, right. So you know what I'm I was freaking out. Because the window was wide open in my <laughs> living room and I had seen people walk by and they could clearly see into my home oh. and they could clearly see that I was watching this. But I was I thought I was so clever because I was like, well, let me go ahead and sit at the window so that no one can tell <laughs> Wait, what? what I'm doing. Oh, yeah, I know. So I sat like close to the window, back like with a chair back yeah. like this. I was, uh. Top of the crack mashed against the glass. <laughs> no, no, no. I was fully clothed. I was okay. a child, Kevin. You, you know, were a I was child just, and you had a big screen. I, I, yeah, I was just I was just there. I was just like. Like well, and then I remember this old lady walked by. This this, this senora Vanessa. You you know the you know the type, right? She's got a got a, a plastic bag for a purse. Plastic bag yep. for a purse. She's yep. got she's got the the onesie. You know, like the the, the grandma mm-hmm. drape. You know, where she looks at you and you feel all the shame from. Oh the yes. And everything oh yes. Googled. And yeah. and and she looked at me and she goes. <laughs> no. And I looked and I, and then I went to change and it turns out at that moment the re- batteries of the remote died. And I oh, I, I, I was TV. freaking out and the volume got really high. Oh, so it yes. was like this guy was like, "Oh yeah." And then I was just like, <laughs> "No." And I like ran. And I had to like unplug stuff and find batteries. Oh, it was embarrassing. Oh man. Yeah. yeah I'm yeah, 30, yeah. so I googled it. <laughs> what did you google? Which, which what did you google? I'm 30, so I just Googled. Oh, you mean your your yeah? Your, I, just Googled, your stuff. I just Googled boobs. Yeah, was that the first? Was that the gateway? And then there were no. The gateway was infomercials. <laughs> the for, gateway was infomercials. You know, it's 2 a.m. There's equipment? a calypso. That's what I was wondering. Is it for? Yeah, was it for? Oh, is it Girls Gone Wild? Yes. Ah, uh, oh. calypso drum is yeah. What calypso keeps. drum did yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was a fitness thing at first. I thought this was like a thigh master onboarding or something. No, mm. I had a Girls Gone Wild DVD in high school, hey. and uh, I never had more friends. They would come over to my house. That's so weird. It's like having a pool. That's so weird. That, honestly, we watched that it just so many times that yeah. we could quote the guys. There's a <laughs> oh, bunch of white wait, guys what? on a boat like, oh. hey, he's got the fastest boat. Like there's there just one line where one guy's like, he's got the fastest boat. And, some chicks like, <laughs> and for until I now, me and my buddy's like, hey, you got the fastest boat. And we're just talking about boobs. <laughs> like, Look at her. She's got the fastest boat. I, yeah. Good times. Ish. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Actually, I'm kind of glad that they're done. Shared like, a lot today. Like, I'm glad that, like, those things don't really exist anymore. It was just more like it's nice as a kid that these are, like, memories that you would have because, 
we were idiots and we were like so young and so immature and, and, and naive. Yeah. And the generation before us was finding it in the woods. Yeah, exactly. That's the, be- that was, that's yeah. the weirdest way you had to like stumble across it out we, in the wild. We had a swing. Yeah. We had a swing. It was in like, uh, down by a Creek yeah. where the crawdads were. And we're all like the older kids would go smoke and drink and stuff. And we had one of those and they would just be, would it be like a Playboy loose stuff. page or a full mag? It's like mag with the pages stuck together. Yeah. 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 Ooh. And, but it was all, you know, it was your responsibility. That's the worst because you always got to lick your it. thumb to turn the page. Yeah. No. And at that point, it's just. Oh, yeah. You yeah. Can't. Good God. You can't. The amount of things that we just did. Ha. Oh, no. Can I? The, no, no, Kevin. I was trying no, to motivate, no, I was trying to motivate like a commercial old, break. Old the amount of things we that can we look at some shops. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you're looking for a rip What's board? going on with the chat right now? How are they feeling? Oh, is there a chat? They're oh trying to God, finish. I would have never said that. Yeah. Are we live? We're live. Are we live? We're live. We're doing it live. Okay, that's good. Uh, just or final, f- just uh, put a, a finer point on this. His last story, um, talking about being naive as a kid. Yeah. Somebody told me in like sixth grade. They're like, hey, you got one of those new GTE cable boxes. You want to know something? If you want to go pay-per-view or one of those pornos, all you got to do is unplug, unplug the phone cable. line. It's not going to dial out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So order it. You'll still get it, but you unplug it, plug it back in. You'll still have the program, yeah. and then it won't charge the account. Yeah, your parents are going to get that charge a month later. A week later, my dad's <laughs> like, there's a charge for 13 movies here. I ordered 13. How many Wait, did you would, need? Boy, I'm hearing some, <laughs> yeah. that beat I, up. I haven't I, heard yeah. someone How laugh. many did you need? I wanted to look at as many of, as much of it as I, I just could. So you were just trying to, it was like having 14 thumbnails up, like I, the architect from the Matrix. Of just want to be clear here. We're also, we're talking about those types of cinematic pieces. Yes. No, okay. Yeah. Just it, wanted to 80s action films with really sweaty, strong guys. Yeah. He had commando. Are, he had blood sport. They're, they're, he had they were in there. Uh, but it was the equivalent of like hovering your mouse over the thumbnails on Pornhub. Yeah, exactly. Except I had to order and buy a pay per view. Complete each the transaction. Time. Yeah. Yeah. You go Wait, through it. Go. You're like, oh, no, I don't like the way this guy looks. That's girl. a weird try not to fap challenge. The way this girl looks. Yeah. You d- <laughs> 10 bucks at a time. <laughs> I don't like the way. Oh, my God. 13 bucks. Yeah. I yeah, know. my dad wasn't that mad. He's like, oh, I'm just glad he's not gay. His mustache yeah. is too sharp. Ow. Still out. Still the jury. So it was back when, you know, your Middle Eastern father in the 90s was the number one thing on your, like, list of I hope this never happens is my son is gay. Mm. You know? Felt he like told this. me one day, he's like, if, I'm like, what, dad, what if I was gay one day? Mm-hmm. And he was like, you wouldn't be my son. Oh, wow. I was like, all right, guess I'm straight. He made the decision for me. <laughs> <laughs> you, were, you were on the fence teetering you know like every kid you wonder <laughs> Play around and bit. like every 39 year old sometimes you, you wake up evidently still don't, don't know, know where i land on that spectrum and you're gonna show up to set and kiss another man sometimes three yeah you the kinsey scale is fluid just yeah. to be clear not making light of that situation if in fact you happen to find yourself in that situation right now i don't know Cassim's dad i have not you've never met your father if you have a middle east i dad happen to disagree with that opinion that he of that he held or might still hold if you called him let's call him right now with some news and see if he still calls you son let's no. see if he unfollows you on facebook no he he uh i think he's so soft now and needs my support financially that he couldn't <laughs> You got him. Yeah, you yeah. got him by the yeah. shackles. I waited. Know? Yeah, right yeah. by the balls. Yeah, you know? he's gonna send. Guess you some- what, Dad? <laughs> <laughs> yes, son. <laughs> I kiss boys too. Great. Where are we doing the holidays this year? <laughs> you, you know how you never have to pay me a rent check for living here, Dad. Son, I want the fastest boat. <laughs> yeah. That's all I want. I work like those too, Dad. We're going to take a commercial break when we come back. We're going to get to the photoshops that you find degenerates making it to- sent into Discord. No, this isn't on TV anymore. This is our rocket exploding. <laughs> Welcome to Vibe Check. We'll be right back. We saw the crest of the earth. Hey there, boys, girls, and in us. Welcome back to Attack of the Show presents Vibe Check. It's me, Kevin Pereira. Largely irrelevant because I'm joined by the majestic golden boy, Thank the you. stupendous Kasim G. Yes. And the real professional in the room is Vanessa Gideon. Literally, the show doesn't exist Hello. without her. <laughs> uh, sup, chat. I see you. I just saw someone there. This is the benefit to only having six viewers. You can really take your time and marinate in what the chat is saying. And someone said, sure. blue. Sup, good to have Kev back. And I just lost their name because someone just wrote waffles all day. And there you go. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, actually, this is a great uh, question, though. Uh, waffles or pancakes? Waffles. Waffles every day of the week. 
Waffles. I'm a, I, I'm a pancake boppy. Oh my God. You know? I'm a whole pancake guy, but it's I'm a yeah. pancake boppy. I'm yeah. a pancake boppy. Like a yeah. flapjack stack. I, I like waffles because you got the built-in butter and or syrup trap. Yep. That's okay. always fun. It is harder to admit. I like a little crush. What, is that what? I like a little crush. A little, little crunch, crunch, little crunch, good. Yeah. But I love nothing more than little stack of cakes. Mm -hmm. Lift it up. Ooh. Just lift the veil. Slide Ooh. a little fried egg into uh, the middle or a little wow. sunny side up or whatever. Close it. Smash it down. Get yourself a yolky sandwich. See, wow. A little little pancake. Put, for both though. You're putting fried eggs French in toast. between. Oh, I'm slipping it in there. I'm going for the say. lumberjack breakfast. Yeah, lumberjack breakfast. I was going to raise my voice first. Go. Cool. I wasn't raising, but you're- I raised it. Yeah, no, it's great. Kevin, yeah. it's okay. We're and I will put an egg between the cakes. Yeah, that's right. Okay, that's not very- that's just being those, And I eat it. Do with your like body, a big like. McGriddle. And if that's not a country I can lie, I will no, 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 no. Spray him down. Spray him down. Okay. I uh, from watching my old man. Just going to say, though, the low-key superhero of breakfast foods is the French toast. Yeah. I it use challah bread. Not a good French toast. Oh, uh, how about Hawaiian bread? You I ever done with the king's I roll? I use I use king's rolls sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You want to get a little fancy? That's right. A little brioche made all custardy. Mm. 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 Sounds good. Now I want Amazing. No more French toast. Huh. I'm trying to watch my diet, as you could tell, because I look like a whale. So <laughs> I TV. get some camera angle. And hermoso. Niño hermoso. I'm trying. I'm try I've been trying, you Stop know. I'm saying that. Yeah. No, I, um, so I. Says the guy who paws at himself constantly and feels just disgusting always. Yeah. That's me. It, so it's I feel like you. it's just us all the time. You know, it's easier to like kind of build, knock yourself down than build yourself up. Sure. You know, it's not easy. I mean, like I, I clearly have transformed myself into an Adonis. I mean, I chiseled my body like friggin marble. You have a great body. Thank you. You look, you look fantastic. I, like, you. And I hate when you whisper that into my neck before yeah. saying hello, but I do appreciate when I'm 65, that. I'm going to look just like you. We all yeah. have our own when it wish. starts to fall off. And the, you know, you start to do like a bicep curl and then just the skin wrinkles in a way that makes yeah. it look like yeah. you have a bicep. Yeah. But we all feel it. We all do. We all feel it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I just, it's its a tough thing because if someone says like, oh, I'm this, I'm that, you want to reassure and go, oh, no, don't. But it's like, that's, if that's how the yeah. person feels, it's how they feel, right? Are you, are you, are you not honoring their own yeah. feelings we about themselves? We can't tell people how they feel. We can't control people, places, or things. We can tell them they're hideous. I do all the time. So actually, I, I, Little interesting side note. Uh, so I, I was working. This whole with, show's a side note. That's true. It's going to be called Attack of the Show. I swear we're going to get to your photoshops. Wait, I, I, just, <laughs> I swear. I think this is a good thing uh, that I'm going to say for a lot of folks at home. Some some positivity because uh, I've been dealing a lot with mental health issues uh, over the last like three weeks, and it's it. I would say maybe longer, but you know these last three weeks have been particularly like crushing. Sorry, bud. And uh, you know it happens, right? It happens to the best of us. Uh, it's normal. We should talk about yeah. it, right? Um, yeah, maybe not on a vibe check. I mean, the maybe, yeah. vibes are. I mean, we're going to talk about it now because you brought it up, right? Well, trust and me. I think what I'm going to say next is going to be a vibe check. Okay, okay. Because it would be awkward to just. So I would. Yeah, it would just be weird to say that right now. during a show. I yeah. was working because this with is a, a comedy. Eh, comedy loosely. I was working with a friend of mine, uh, Barbara Dunkelman, over at Rooster Teeth. Dunkelman. And, yeah, and she's great. Uh, genuine, genuine. Like, I love her. She was awesome. It was fun working with her. Um, and uh, we were talking about receiving compliments. She was like, are mm. you good at accepting compliments? And I was like, no, I'm actually the worst at it. When someone says I'm good at something, I'm like always there to kind of like knock myself down. Yo, same. Well, here's what she said. She was like, well, think about it like this though, right? Like this person has an opinion of you. They're telling this to you because this is what they think. If you tell them, no, I, like, oh, hey, good job on that, you know, skit. Oh no, I'm actually trash. Then you're essentially telling them, that their opinion doesn't right. You've really matter. You've disrespected and dishonored their yeah. opinion. In so when she said that to me, yeah. shattered my brain. And I was just like, oh, you're right. You know, like that is a really important thing. So you know what, like guys, like, you know, self high five sometimes. Yeah, I agree. You, you have know? to all the time. Five. I won't I won't participate in that, but I will say- Participate in the damn high five, Cassim, thank you. You know what, I do feel better. <laughs> See? Um, yes, and I do feel like, Part of the reason why I started to see uh, self-deprecation to be done in the appropriate manner is because, like, also, when you're around sad sacks yourself, you're like, look at this piece of, <laughs> look at this mood dragger Debbie Downer, you know? Mm -hmm. And, like, I, I just have a fear of being that person. Right. Like, if a friend opens up about their, let's say, like, a mental health struggle or something like yeah. that. Yeah. And you want to be like, I don't want to be like Ugh. this fucking yeah. You don't want to be like that. You don't. Who wants to be that guy at the bar? Get point? help. Cuckoo, yeah. Cuckoo. Uh, uh, right. We're going to go get more ice. Yeah. yeah. And then bail. <laughs> and then you leave. You change yeah. venues. Yeah. Speaking of, I got to get up some ice. So. <laughs>
Also, by the way, Barbara I, Dunkelman, easy for her to say, she's hot. Huh? She's hot. What do you mean? Vanessa, help. Vanessa, uh, can we just like, do we have like a Me Too button for Kasim or something? No, people like to hear they're hot. Can you, uh, you don't spritz Kasim? No, literally no. yesterday, literally yesterday, we came upon That's realizing f- that I have trouble accepting similarly when I hear it and that I just like need to take it in more because we played the game where we stick a thing on your forehead and you have to guess what it is. And I guessed literally at every adjective other than Vanessa great. guessed <laughs> that we, we said this is something to describe you. Yeah. Word on a post-it attached to her forehead. She yeah. says, mother? Not a mom. I'm not a mom. She's I not a mom. mom before we I all know that. Anything. And she guessed that before the word on the card, which was pretty. Aww. And that's why I fired up the old talk space and had a conversation with Gerald about accepting compliments. <laughs> there you go. I don't. Get talk therapy has never been cheaper and more affordable. I, uh, I agree with the, you have to accept. You have to learn to accept you have to learn those how to things, accept. even if you don't believe them or you struggle to believe them, because it does it does reflect upon the person. It's true. You're actually you're also robbing them. Like they're taking the time and energy to say something nice to you. Like That's they're putting true. that energy. Yeah. You're you're robbing them of the joy. Yeah. Of getting to give somebody joy yeah. by the process of swatting it out of the air. I go. Somebody gives me a compliment. Doesn't happen often. When they do, I go. Cassim. This person doesn't know what they're talking about, but that's what I think. Well, Cass- how do I go? Thank you. Let and me I say. I just want to say, dude. No, you give me a lot of compliments. I do give you a lot of compliments. You have been for almost a year now. And and it's because I think the world of you. That's so kind. I Aww. honestly I am so grateful. You know, I followed you to... before you knew who I was. I've I've followed <laughs> you. No, I knew I saw you in your cameo in, in Transformers. I got stoked. Thank you, you know, I, I recognize it. I just got an international royalty check. For like $12. Oh, yeah. What? Well, hold down. Who's your international man of mystery? When I'm on a jet blue and I'm firing up a choice on the the headrest <laughs> of the right. stranger in front of me, that's right. I'm giving you 14 nickels. That's hell <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're very welcome. <laughs> Vanessa? I, I appreciate that. Thank See? you so much. Uh, I know we have photoshops to get to, but also, and it's also hyper personal, but did you, do you feel, and you don't have to answer this, okay. do you feel like you made any progress and or headway with the accepting of the compliments or the redefining the way that you see yourself after Big time. A, a weird game of post-its? Big time, actually. I'm trying to be like more introspective and realize that when those moments that come up, I should like take them as learning experiences. Cause like I have a niece and she's 11. So I'm trying to be less mean to me. So she's less mean to her mm. and it's actually working. Cause now when I tell her she looks pretty, she goes, I know. And I'm trying to get to that energy. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, I think I made a lot of headway. Cause it's also realizing that like it does what good does it do me to be mean to me? Yeah, it like, doesn't. Who does yeah. it benefit? Yeah, the world's filled with plenty of people who'll be mean to you. Oh, you yeah. might as well be your your biggest fan and advocate. Yeah, That's life's right. too short. You know, life's too short to be mad all the time. It's almost over for Kevin. <laughs> Look at me. Look at me. Then you think this is how I want to spend my final days? I made mistakes. <laughs> We all do. don't double down. I, I'm, I'm take I, your earnings and go, Kevin. <laughs> you you want to know something, man? I I've told you this before, but getting an opportunity to just be in the same space as you has been one of the most rewarding experiences of my oh. entire career. Yeah, that's true. So if I this weren't on the true, heel, man. if this weren't on the heels of everything we just said about <laughs> accepting compliments, I would whack it from the air. That's the reason I why I shot my shot, baby. That's why I, I know you want shot. to. I, you know I want to. You, You're the king you of deflection. You genuinely know that yeah. I want to. You're right? the king of deflection, but yeah. you can't deflect it now or else the chat's going to judge will, you. I will. Chat, spam, judge. Jan- spam judge. <laughs> this is, yeah. Shame somebody into accepting themselves shame. in a positive shame. way. Right. Or shame. Judge or shame. I don't care. It could yeah. be whatever you that's want. Right. Screw you, Kevin's in chat, for not accepting <laughs> his own. Ama- I, that's very kind of you to say. I, I appreciate that, buddy. No problem. Um, and uh, let's you know. move on. Yeah. I'm oh, tired of this. I was going to return the favor, but you don't. No. It's fine. I, okay. I, yeah, I, that's I know. fine. Yeah. I'm grateful to just be here, baby. Okay. So we good. We're vibing. Golden boy knows. See, that's vibes, baby. You that's say vibes. we're all grateful to be here, but you haven't seen what the Discord community did to me. I love them for this. Uh, so Uh-oh. yesterday, Kevin held up a computer, and anytime you hold up a square on anything on G4, yep. this happens. Uh, so I'm just going to, there we go. Oh, so yay. They greened it out for us and then uh, proceeded to do- Called it in real time. It doesn't diffuse any of the damage done, but I did call out, oh, no, go, oh, here it is. Now feel free to Photoshop whatever you want. Will Neff, Okay. Infinity mirror me, sure. I can't see the bottom right because there's a camera in the way. Uh, it's just- oh, it's just more infinity, Kevin. Love it. Okay, no. bottom left. Is that the pickleball article? This is the pickleball article. And then we also have these. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. the, al- yeah. the AlphaCon. <laughs> AlphaCon, brilliant. 
I think Beamop corn hubbed me and I don't appreciate it. I do love that sexy corn though. I do love that sexy corn. She's working it. She's hot. Yeah. Sexy corn hub. It's like, yeah, yeah, yes, queen. Hub. Work that then, sexy corn. Within the first five minutes of the show. That dirty kernel. We got. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, gets a. <laughs> <laughs> first five minutes of the show. How it started, how it's going. Yeah. Oh, no. No. Oh. They shredded it. You love shredding. Hold on now. This is part of it. This adds value. Right, you they you're it's burnt. That token is burnt. That's right, creating more scarcity and more rarity That's in your right. NFT market. Look, I uh, and you guys may have seen this on my Twitter. I I uh, recently have been attacking people for stealing my cool cumbers and turning it into their profile picks, PFPs. If you're in the, biz. I know you're familiar with crypto and NFTs. Yes. I, we don't have to dive into it fully, but Cass is really, <clears> he's so, tripping nope. the veil. So yeah, si- since he's sure. pierced it, we'll roll with he's it. He's tripping the rift. Yeah, he's. <laughs> Slipping he's, down a uh, hole. Slapping the base month. Yeah, he's slapping that rabbit hole. <laughs> the Gen 1 cool cumbers have been, they're out of my hands. People yeah. have taken them. Sure. They put one in my mouth. They put one in uh, Vanessa's they put one mouth. In my mouth. Yeah. Yes. And oh, dear. I just want to let you guys know that you have not beaten me because I, as the creator, as the artist mm-hmm. of the cool cumbers NFT, sure. have just designed. And I'm about to release on this very vibe check. Whoa, get out. The this alpha? Gen 2 Gen Cool two. Cumber. No way. Gen okay. 2 Cool Cumber? Hey, listen, Crypto Kids, because I know hashtag Crypto Kids in chat, because we have a huge community. Yeah. They're, I would say they're off the chain, but they are very much on, on the blockchain. The, they on really the blockchain. They are on the yeah. blockchain. Uh, crypto Kids in chat, hashtag Crypto Kids. This is the alpha intel. Watch the green candlesticks for the Cool Cumbers. It's coming now. Gen 2. So excited. There is no way you guys will be able to use this photo mm-hmm. on your profile pictures. Because they can't, I am not going to make this for sale. Wow. So are you, he's going to reveal the artwork now. I'm going to reveal the artwork. But you're not going to make it digitally available. Nope. It's okay. analog only. Analog only? This is the first analog only NFT that I've ever heard of. This this is is like art. This is, this is just a picture. Is it? Wow. Yeah, but they can't, they can't screen Gen it. Gen 2. Wow. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Make sure the copy protection's up. We don't want anybody to be able to screen grab. Wow. Or, this is or, a or Gen 2 it. cucumber. As you can see, now he has a mustache. That's incredible. Wow. And now, did you draw that mustache or did you license? Because I feel like I see a watermark in his mustache. Yes. Uh, the, the way I uh, acquired the mustache is top secret alpha information. Okay. Top secret information, information. Did you yeah. s- just search the internet for mustache and then copy and paste it? I'm an artist, Kevin, and my process is my process. Okay. That's a- you guys that cannot, that's a mistake. You that's cannot a- do anything with this. You can't uh, own this yeah. because this belongs to me Analog and only me. Now, I, I do want to make this clear, though, Casim, uh, just so that we're all on the uh, on yes. the same on the same page here. Yes. Talk about um, how beautiful it is. It's, it's gorgeous. Uh, I could clearly tell the artwork. A lot of love was put into it. Um, but that's just a picture. Yes. It's uh, it's an NFT. Here, no, you know, but that's not. Because that, you guys can, if you want to. They can't that's an, uh, capture it and rotate it or anything. It's a non-fungible there token, it yep. but it's an right. analog one. Yeah, no, no, like, no. It's great, guys. It's, it's great. Gen 2. It's and, you, and when you see it at that resolution, you can see yeah. the. the yep. You can actually see all the reflectivity. On the cucumber, you can see that someone used like a magic wand tool in the mustache, and that's why you can see some of the cucumber through the really mustache. Get a lot of the detail. That's all by design. Yeah, you get a lot of the detail in the uh, in the mustache. It's it's uh, it- and there's no utility. It's not going to generate a token. No, this is because it's never going to be a. Digital all I'm saying asset. is that this is a Gen two. It's amazing. Who knows what Gen three will bring? Oh, the roadmap's a question mark. I'm- I don't do a roadmap. Because uh, it puts our developers up against oh, a so lot of like, deadlines and things that I don't want. Like three four three with Halo, nice. Cassim, I have some unfortunate news about the uh, the Discord. They Sorry, have already. Obtained. Uh, oh wait, what's this? Are you this playing is, back video? Because this can't. This is from the Discord. How's that possible? When I said I'm the only one that can oh. own this. Our, our, they've our, already made also. So more so they've shops. already they mm-hmm. they took it. They they took your. Our stream is DRM protected. Yeah, there's a it's an HDMI copyright protection. Yeah, DHCP. We, no, it's it, no, yeah. it, it, well, it's called HCCP, but all, yeah. uh, you know, High definition that, is, that aside, uh, I use ADP. Yeah. Payroll. And yes. And then HTTPS yeah. on the UDP. Oh my God. Yeah. What? Oh no. I'm getting tweets. Oh no. Cassie took people, your artwork. People are, people have taken my image. Oh my God. 
You know, oh these, boy! These darn, I hope you guys are lawyering up right now. Darn kids! This is the crypto scam. This is why. This you is why. This is why. You know. That's that's you can't do that. Oh, somebody's I'm, already booked a full back tattoo. You oh. can't. No. This is oh, the, no. we are drawing a line because what you're doing is not legal. Oh no! Oh no! This is. I this hope, needs I hope to each stop. And every one of you has a lawyer on retainer oh. because I'm going to sue your ass into the ground, pal. Okay. What a shame. What's the royalty on that, Cass? You said a royalty? Yeah. I get 100% because I'm the only one that owns it, Kevin. Okay. Well, good luck. How's that trackable, though? It's off and on the blockchain. Oh, this is yeah, the only yeah, one yeah, he's been saying yeah. it, GB. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. This sorry, is sorry. it. So, I'm wondering if you, you holding it up like that is the reason why there's so many people sending me photos. When, I, when I held it, yeah. I held, I turned it sideways. Oh, yeah. There's which no is way. not the way it's supposed to go. And when I did it, I did it mm. at an angle that it would catch the light but so you couldn't get all of the resolution. I just feel you know like they can you, rotate it. But you know, like when you crop a photo, you can just, you know, because our phones are see, very capable. You can just ro do you rotate you see that? The so, That's, oh, yeah. do you think this is why they're able to screen capture? Let's take, I, you know, I think so. Let's take a commercial we, we break. We're going to chat about yeah. piracy. You wouldn't download a cucumber, would you? You can't. It's Casims. That's right. Thank you, Kevin. Yeah. Please, uh, Tweet me the high res of that, please. Thank you. We'll be right back. Please. Five check. Same here, if you don't mind. Wait. This is, I didn't, I didn't ask for this. This is ridiculous. Who is this? Sinister Dev? And and Hardy, I don't know. I don't. Oh, it's know. Sinister Dev's birthday today. Hey, hey, happy birthday! Guess what I'm getting you with cease and desist, courtesy of my friend Casim Crypto G. Happy birthday, bud! Ridiculous Crypto how they're just. This is downloading cars. This is a disaster. Man. My my rollout is a is a it's a failed. Mint. I think you can save this. I think you could save this. Yeah. Gas is really expensive right now. I don't think a lot of people are going to be minting out these yeah. cool cumbers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I guess no. I'll just have to work on a uh, Gen Should 3, okay. and you guys will never see it, okay? <sighs> Welcome back to Attack of the Show Presents Vibe Check. It's me, KP. Hi, everybody. Good to have you here. Um, thank you for the discords and the giggles. Golden Boy is here. Kasim G. I'm here. Vanessa G. It's a big, big show. All sorts of good stuff happening. But Vanessa, we have something serious to talk about. What? Oh, we got some serious talk. We got actual yeah, content. What? We got actual content. Are we going to do it now? We're talking more Halo because uh, we have uh, Mr. Halo uh, here with us. Beautiful. That was quick. Uh, I was an interpreter. <laughs> That's great. I'm not doing it again. <laughs> it was an opportunity for you to shred, Cass. Paramount Plus has a new Halo series. Oh, the official yeah, title do. is called Halo, Halo friend. And Halo we the series. spoke to him. Uh, and I'm just going to go ahead and kick off this first clip because it, I'm but, dying to hear it. Is it literally just called Halo? Yes, yeah, it's, it's just called Halo. Halo. It's just, it, there's no it's not in the Yellowstone colon, universe. Yada, yada. Just Halo. I will explain it's in a Yellow moment. Yellow Jackets universe. Roll the clip. Bunch of soccer players when you're crash on a ring. When you for it in some of these scenes as well, did you play any games to prep, read any of the novels? Uh, yes. I didn't use playing video games as preparation for the role because, you know, I don't I don't think you need to be a good gamer to be a good yeah. actor or storyteller. Um, but it was important to experience the games and, and feel what that was like. So um, I've been over the course of the past couple of years playing through the Master Chief collection and I'm now in the middle of the infinite campaign. But again, that wasn't that wasn't uh, that wasn't part of my process of of preparing for the role. That was more um, really digging into the the deep mythology and lore that's been created yeah. over the past 20 years um, through, you know, watching the cinematics, all the cinematics from every game. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm 
deeply familiar with. Um, three, four, three studios brought me up to Seattle and put me through a boot camp, which was like a, a massive information, uh, uh, overload for, for five days. And then sent me away with all of this research, uh, that contained the cinematics from the game, a couple of novels, a bunch of graphic novels, all the animated shorts and all the live action features that they've made. So, um, what became really clear very quickly is the the depth and the richness of the mythology that's yeah. been created um, made me into a super fan uh, immediately as soon as I started to to dig into this because I come from a place of uh, a storyteller right and and knowing that we had all of these riches at our disposal for subsequent seasons is something that got me incredibly excited. Nice. Uh, so uh, one thing I want to address real fast, because I yeah. saw once he said about not playing the game in the, in the chat, people started. I, I even because I, I didn't. I think you kind of winced. As oh, well. no, I did. I went, oh, uh, he's 100 percent right. He didn't. You do not need like if he was going up to three, four, three uh, and working with like my friends, Grim Brother one, like those guys out there that are like kind of like the lore masters mm -hmm. of the Halo universe. He's getting all the material that he right. needs to understand the world of of oh oh watch out don't break things now this 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 oh. is a this is a sorry hot set multi million hot set. dollar studio you yeah. don't want to break anything yeah um, with a seventeen dollar IKEA table holding up two of the wrong mic <laughs> but and that's not shots at our I know but no it shots. happens hey, no shots no shots at anybody who set this up because they 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 nope. John Na no is that your no, fault John Na working really magic familiar. working magic this room looks really familiar to me I used to do a show in here. Oh, it is what? cursed. Yeah, I used to do a show in here, but I don't Oh, it remember. belongs to the Grogu oh. now. Yeah, hmm, that's all right. So, maybe, maybe you're, but what you were saying, because chat did sort of react to that. Uh, yeah, so I, I definitely do not think that you, like, need to play the games. I, I, I'm i of that mindset. It's it's more of the story that you kind of have to engross yourself in. But uh, did it, did he, it sounded like he was saying that he did play the games? But yeah, I mean. Not to get into the role, I but just to experience playing the game. Yeah, right? he, yeah. Because, okay, so there's something to, to be uh, very clear because I, I i had the chance me and vanessa had the chance to watch the two episodes of the uh halo series that's so cool. uh and so jealous yeah it was it was an experience at first and then i started to really like wrap myself in it to give you my cliff notes of the series as a whole uh it reminded me of like an alternate version of the expanse um okay so there's a lot of political intrigue mm -hmm. there's a lot of military you know like like discussion and conflict but then there's also this very human story that exists with uh with john with the master chief uh and the other character that is in it uh kwan ha who is like she plays like the the human folly if you will of like she's like us living in this world um so i was at first like taken aback by how they decided to to go about the story but after a little while, I was like, yeah, this makes a ton of sense because, you know, the, the original story, like Halo CE, uh, when you first start the game, it, it's tons of mystery, right? You don't know what's going on. You're this super soldier, uh, which is like a very generic thing. And you're in this ship and you mysteriously end up at this ring and you have to discover what mysteries lie inside of the ring, right? Mm -hmm. It's perfect for a video game not perfect for a TV series. You know, like maybe if you were going that route, potentially, but like it, for this, it didn't make sense for them to do that. So uh, from a story perspective, there's a lot of rewrites. Like there is a lot of course correction on characters. Mm -hmm. And I think that if this feels like if 343 had the reins to Halo, like the entire 343 team had the reins to Halo from the beginning of the inception of the franchise, then this is a direction that they would have gone in. And I'm not mad about it. It actually was pretty, pretty solid. You know, the only real criticism that I have of it uh, is just the visuals. Um, like, I think they some did look in the trailer. That was the one thing I was like, well, yeah, the CGI is like, not cause you know, in the trailer, they're pit cherry picking the best VFX yeah. to showcase. I, no, I would say that what they're showing in the trailer is about what they show in the, uh, in the series itself. So like if you weren't too impressed by the CGI in the trailer, then you're not really going to be that impressed by the CGI. Yeah. But it's mostly when it's like human interaction with the CGI. With the CGI. That's really, it, you know. You know what? Yeah. The Covenant on their own 
looks felt, fantastic. Okay, like they like it actually had like the correct textures and shadows oh, yeah. that you need. When you're in the ship, when yeah. you're, you know, like when they're in the pelican or when they're in mm -hmm. space, like everything looks great. Like it all looks awesome. When they it's when it's fighting a Spartan and then the Spartan suit is practical that you notice yes. that. That's when you notice it. And that yeah. and that really isn't like that big of a deal to me. Um, but I could see how like some may take issue with it. But, you know, I feel like that's just the, you know, budget limitation. There was a Sabanish Power Rangers-esque feeling to, yeah. to what Vanessa mentioned, which is the practical suit going up against the CG. Not that Power Rangers enemies were CG. They were practical, but... That's the feeling that I got from giant, watching giant people. very oversized. Yes. Pinch zoom the folks. But watching the Master Chief swing and try to punch a CG something felt yeah. like I was watching a little bit of that during yeah. the action sequence. Yeah, you can you can kind of tell like as the as the action sequences or, or you know, as they kind of phase back and forth between the CG and then the practical, you can tell. Like it's mm -hmm. it's very apparent. It's very clear. And that's not a is bad that, thing. Is that a, a a budgetary issue or is it seems like they've been trying to make a Halo series for yeah. a very long time. Right. And then this is one of those series that I don't know was in production hell or not, but I know that it's been talked about for a long time. Forever. You yeah. would think that this is one of the biggest game IPs ever. Yeah. That, uh, and I believe this was at Showtime for a while. Like, I, I just want to know what happened. Like, you would think you would throw enough money at it if it was a budgetary thing. Or is it just a studio handling it doesn't have the chops to be able to make the CGI as good as it needs to be? I don't, you know, I wish I could say. I think they're hoping for the Sonic effect. That they release the series and people are like, I don't know about that CG. Then they could go back, retool it. And well, re Sonic it. was just a trailer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's, but like, yeah. I, I, that's I, not a sincere opinion. No, I thought it was. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no. like when you're you, using your serious voice, <laughs> when you look at the elites, right? The, the yeah. saying Heli as they as they are called in mm. the uh, universe. If you look at the elites, though, like I mean, you know, they got the form, the like the mandible, like perfect. Yeah, like, like they 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 nailed the. This character. looks okay. Yeah, oh, it does. It yeah. gen, when the when the CG is on its own, it looks fantastic. Yes. But when this is it's outside and you don't have realistic shadows or reflections potentially yes. on. Sometimes yeah. And as they're fighting a human in a suit, that looks a little different. And yeah, to be okay. fair, it's really only present in that first episode. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, like the the big moment that they show from the trailer um, is like the first moment in the show. Yeah. So how's it, how's the acting? I'm a big fan of Pablo Schreiber. I think he's great in Orange great. Is the New Black. He's probably my favorite part of that show. Yeah, I loved yeah. it in American Gods. Yeah. Um, what what's what's the acting like? No real issues there. I mean, like there's a, a very important thing that you have to keep in mind when you watch this. Right. And, and I think it was very interesting how we all like can accept multiple versions of Batman. Right. Multiple interpretations of Batman. Mm -hmm. uh, that's kind of how I'm treating this Master Chief. Mm. Um, you don't like that they added nipples to the Master Chief armor? Oh, well, you know. Yeah. I there's think like eight of them. Did, yeah. They, there's multiple. In a row. You can nurse Just several like puppies. Yeah. Simultaneous nips. Uh, no, like, I, I, I think, like, his version of it is very different from, from Steve Down's version, right? And Steve Down's version, the voice of Master Chief in the games, he is very much a voice actor. He's, you know, very much playing the silent but deadly role, right? Like my farts, you know, like, just a lot of that. But there is the aspect of... Pablo having to add his own personality to it. And I think he, I think he nailed it. I think he's very much like, I believe it. It's just, it's just weird. It's weird because like, uh, and this isn't like a spoiler because they're, they're public about this. Right. Vanessa. They're I, very public. They're There's very public. Talking about seeing him about it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they, they basically ripped the Band-Aid pretty fast on him revealing yeah. his face. Yeah. I was not ready for how fast it was. Yeah, I wasn't ready for <laughs> I thought we'd at least be like three episodes in. Yeah. But no, they were pretty fast about it. Not a spoiler because, again, they were very, very clear about the, that this is something. Did they do one of those like 90s full house intros where it's like starring uh -huh. Master Chief and he yeah. lifts up the visor and it's Pablo smiling? It, it, it was just like, you know, it, it was one of those moments where... MC, the mailman. <laughs> it made sense in the context of the moment. It's just I was shocked how fast it came. Yeah. That was really the the only real. And then after that, you kind of just get used to it. And then that's it. So uh, as a, I'm sorry, Vanessa, did I? Oh, no, go ahead. No, I felt like you were going to no, say I was, something. I was, I was just thinking, I was just ruminating on something now. And then I think it was what Kasim was saying about like the CG moments, especially. And I don't even think it's so much a money thing. I think it's a lot of companies don't seem to understand that CG and especially blending it with human actors is like 
an art and we fully realize that it's something that's done before because look at everything that Weta Studios has done with both Planet of the Apes and basically anything that they have to do where there's like human and big dinosaur. Uh, I was just ruminating on that for a second. Yeah, I don't necessarily think that it's like a money issue. I think it's just sometimes a higher up doesn't understand that it is it is an art form, even though it's computer based. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but it's not bad. So I know we're heading for a, a, an old commercial break. Old commercial. Uh, I'm not going to ask you to rate it or anything. You're, you've seen two episodes of it. I know Vanessa has as well. As a as a fan of the franchise, not yeah. a super fan, but a fan, and I know that it's you know it's Microsoft's biggest franchise. Obviously, there are super fans like yourself and in yeah. chat, and they're also you know, is it is it hard to watch it through any other set of eyes than the eyes of a super fan and will super mm. fans love it? Or was this going to be something that a broader audience is going to accept and go, this is great, but yeah, the super yeah, fans yeah, are going to yeah. think that it doesn't, could it ever live up to their hate? That, that is a great question. I actually, I'm glad you uh, found a question in there. Cause I yeah. floundered for, no, no, no. I, I, I really like that because I am a super fan, right? But I do my absolute best, especially in this. Cause I've told Vanessa this, that's the first time I ever watched something and took notes. Mm. I've never watched something for content. You know, I've always just sat there and watched it. So it was actually great to kind of separate myself and, and uh, make me really like, like push the, the halo fan aside and analyze it. Because I know that a lot of people uh, come to vibe check for the deep dive resources. And I'm the alpha saying it out loud. Now. I'm saying it out loud and it doesn't sound real to me. Um, but I think that the show is, Stands on its own two feet very well. I think the show is solid. Uh, right now, mm, sitting around a seven, eight for me. Uh, the story's compelling, if not weird uh, in some areas. But then, you know, as far as the character depictions and also like, you know, I, I really love the world building that they do early on. And this is something that you were never going to get in the Halo games because in the Halo games, you're Spartan that's got to go and shoot aliens. You're not there to like enjoy the, you know, how Reach looked. Right. And like thinking you actually see Reach, by the way, in this. And if you don't know, Reach is the planet that uh, basically their command was, like where the UNSC command is located. Uh, and they're, the book, Fall of Reach by Eric Nyland, fantastic book if you haven't read it, uh, details like how Reach was destroyed and glass and all that stuff. And it's just like seeing the, the thought that put into it like really fit with what I was imagining these places would look like. Uh, and then they add other areas down the line. It's like really good, solid world building. So seven or eight-ish. Seven or eight. As a super fan. Seven or eight. We're going to commercial. Subscribe to Paramount Plus for it. Yeah. Subscribe for uh, Yellowstone. Then watch Halo. And then watch you. Halo. Sure. There you go. We're coming back with more Vibe Check. We got more of your Photoshop. Stop it with the cucumbers. It's already... Too Enough. much. He's going to get very heated. We got games. We got more stuff. It's Vibe Check. You stay there. We'll be here. Okay. Hi, friends. Welcome back. Thieves. I call them thieves. Chasm's very heated. Welcome back to Vibe Check. It's me, KP. I'm here with GB, KG. Freeloaders. Okay. Listen, if you're just now yep. tuning in, I'm sorry. Welcome. It's good to have you. Exclamation point Q in chat, followed by any questions or comments or cucumbers. Mm. What did you say? That was a Freudian slip. Sorry. Any questions or comments yeah. is Fresh how comments. we will curate. Yeah. Are you freaking with me right now? Bro, I would well, never frick with you. Sometimes you, you know. curate the cucumber. <laughs> okay, Mr. calm down. Golden boy, we so gotta calm see. down. We have to be calm as a cute. Both Real of you fast. are freaking with me right We're now. We're not. I'm not freaking with you, Nessa, dude. Are you freaking with him? We're not freaking with you. We're just. I. I think you're just jumping to cucumber conclusions. Oh, cute cold. No. Um, <laughs> I will. BG, come on. Ooh, you got all three. You are freaking with me, man. We're not freaking. We're not freaking. Uh, I. I, I you have a lot on your shoulders. Fast, you're though. in cucumbered. Cumbered. You're encumbered. Oh. You did it again. Uh, Everyone's conspiring against me. What were you going to say, GB? Uh, someone in the chat was like, spoilers regarding Reach. That's It's genuinely oh, not. Reach. I want to be very clear. It is not, okay? Uh, it's like in the first 20 minutes. Uh, so you're not really missing much. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm very, very happy. Master Chief dies from syphilis. Uh, that actually was. That's an actual That's spoiler. True. That's It's true. a slow death. That's mm -hmm. true. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to be clear about that because I, I just didn't want to, uh, like, I, I wanted to be very clear about not spoiling this because yeah. there are 
big differences. So it, it's like it, when you watch it, get re- get ready and watch with an open mind. That's my suggestion. Uh, via con Dios. And ha- have an open mind is important, you know, yeah, because have- listen, your only input of yeah. Halo has been the games and they've used the same actor every time. For the uh, for the voice actor, yeah, yeah, yeah. Steve, Steve Downs. It's been one guy, you know, and and you should uh, give Pablo Schreiber a, a, an opportunity to present another side, another opportunity. Yeah, uh, even if it's different. You this know? is the same argument Cassim uses for replacing me on Attack of the Show. Oof, every if day there is just like, a different point open of view. Mind. Somebody yeah. else who's maybe not as smart, but like wacky and yeah. real funny and clearly very capable very, very talented capable. ultra yeah. charismatic yeah i, I was a trying to do that for getting on x-play but then everyone just kept ignoring me so yeah that's the, they don't return my calls on yeah, it. yeah. let's sucks. just give them a shot <laughs> so when we when it comes to keeping an open mind i think that applies to all things whether it's watching halo who's going to take over attack of the show not castle or hmm. nfts and the reason Cucumber. i say that is because right now mm. you know remixing interpretations yeah, yeah, adding yeah, your own yeah. flair yeah. that's a big deal in really the world of, of crypto and fungible and non fungible tokens and right now the cuke market is heating up <laughs> and that is I, take off my I didn't make that give me the handle of the person that made this I, I'm gonna serve him I don't know who did it I don't know if we have that you but, can't use my image okay, stop now it now look at that now that's oh my, happy St. Patrick's they, Day they yeah. transformed it it's transformative he's not times. Irish they've made their own oh. Oh, that seems pretty Irish. Hey, oh, look at that. Yeah, that actually is full size in the hallway. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, it's the whole hallway. Yeah. <laughs> you finally got your picture, Kev. Yeah, I finally have a, my own. This is good. Cucumber. That's a cool cumber in the Forgotten Land. That's our metaverse leak. That's a leak. It has feet. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> okay, now that. Uh, um, oh, okay. No. Oh, the that's feet. not official. That's a, oh, guys, oh. Guys, oh, dear. Guys. <laughs> Now, wait. Hold wait, let's go back. <laughs> Hold on a second. What are these guys up to? I think they wait, just want to make... I think they just want to make a salad, cast. How you know, we, I think wait, that's it. How are we able to show that? How are we able to? How are we able? What? To you show can't it? show people in their underwear, <laughs> Kevin. Yeah. Hey, look, Sonic. <laughs> hey, Sonic. Yeah. Now, there's a cucumber in that one, but we had to hide it. Yeah. Too intense. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm sitting on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, oh, oh, I'm God. glad that we got away from cukes. Yeah, are you guys like, are you guys like cool? You and uh, in fact, you and this girl? is fun. I think that's the last one. You guys are very okay. talented, even though you're all criminals. You're we abusing the benefits of Web3 and what Web3 has to offer. You're abusing I think it. they're embracing it. I feel like they've just embodied what you Web3 all is owe about. me ETH. What? Yes. How much? Here Based off today's trading value. Well, we all know ETH is trading around 2800 for yeah. one ETH right now. Uh, I think that's a better day than it's having in your head. It's good. I want peak prices. I'll take 2800 You think we're going to hit that ATH? A you think we're going to hit five? Absolutely. You we're She's gonna, bullish. She's bullish. Guys, we're there coming you go, out of guys. A, a bear market. One whole ETH for Cass. Just, I'm paying. I'm paying this for you guys. There you one go, F. Cass. There it is. One, one F. Actually, that, was, that transaction was too fast, uh, and it's going to okay. cost you more for gas. So you Sorry. need to do another one for like 300 oh, okay. bucks there. And then that. you can't hand them that for like 15 minutes until okay. I thought this confirm. stuff okay. supposed to be easy. There it's, we go. You just got to wait for the confirmation. There's a whole 300 guys. Yep. Well, there I appreciate that. I'll Vanessa, sure should we play a round of the game? Or speaking of games, should we talk about Sifu? I'm down for playing a round of the game. I think we didn't have that much time to get into it yesterday, and uh, I'm down. Y'all want to play the game? Let's, Let's play, play the, game. the game. Yes, Kevin. What's it is time to play the game. You're going to write a word on a post-it, and then you're going to put that word on my friggin' forehead, and I'm going to have to ask questions. Through the but you can't look at the monitor. And you can't, can't look, look at, the at the monitor. monitor, and neither can you, and that's the way this game is played. So please write a friggin' word on that post-it. What are we, what's so the I can word? put it on what's my forehead, word? and we can guess. Word, right, any, any word, word. You want, put it on the post-it, then I'm going to put it on my friggin' forehead. A learning disability. And then I'm right. going to go. If it's, it's in a song form, I'm gonna, I don't understand. It. I need you to just say it. If it's in song, I get confused, Ken. Okay. Accessibility is not my concern. This is your what issue. It is not mine. I got my word. Okay. What are you saying? So right. you're going to hand it to me. I'm not going to look at it. I'm going to put it on my forehead. I'm not going to look at the monitor. Do you, you want to stick it to his forehead? You can stick. Yeah, I'll stick it. Okay, what's the, what's, what's, is this an adjective that describes Kevin? So you put any word, You're any word write, on their head. Let me clarify. Yeah, sorry, Vanessa. Go ahead. No, any word on their forehead. Yep. And Kevin gets to ask as many questions as he wants to figure out what it is. He doesn't know what's on his forehead. 
and he yeah. can't look at the monitor to find out. So now Kevin's going to ask a question okay. about what's on his face. Okay. And you're going to write a word that's going to go on GB's face. Oh, okay. 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 I'm going to write a word that's going on your face. And then eventually we'll write one for Vanessa. Okay. I'm, okay I'm, I'm, my eyes are open. All right. I'm not looking at the monitor, but I will look this way. Yeah. Uh, am I a person? Uh, no. No. Am I an emotion? No. So uh, I'm an object? Depends, depends on the circumstances. Okay. Am I an object? No. 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 But I could be an emotion? No. Uh, no, you but know. you could be the result of one. Am I an exclamation? <laughs> no. No, no, but you can be the result of an emotion. That is very true. Oh, the result of an emotion? Am I liquid? <gasps> kind of, yeah. Kind of, yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yes? <laughs> My lady P. <Pete. gasps> no. No. <laughs> You're not. <laughs> no. But, but you're not far off. It's Wait, often, really? It's often associated. It's gonna with fall it. off, Kevin. Oh Are no! Oh no! Close oh, your eyes. Stick. Close your eyes. I didn't. It, it did fall. I did not see. Hold on. I'll help you. Is it in your crotch? <laughs> yes. It's on the floor next to his feet. By yes, crotch. it is. Right next to his. Please crotch. reach. <laughs> oh, oh no! Oh oh, 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 oh! Stop hitting him! Oh no! Stop hitting him! Why did you do that? You speed bagged me. All right, I'm gonna reach down. I'll reach down. You got it. You got it. Just go an inch forward, Kevin. Just an inch forward. You got it. You got it. This is a great show, by the way. Okay. <laughs> it's it's related time. to Lady P? No. No. It could be any P. Not directly. Oh, any P? Yeah, any P. You could describe any P like this. Oh, I could describe it. This is an adjective? Yeah, you can it's also- It's an adjective, yes. You can also, Frothy? You can also Ropey. describe like- no. Golden. No. You can no. also describe like cake like this. You can also describe like- Thick? Moist? Moist! Yes! <laughs> 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 proud of that one. I'm proud. There was a lady P discussion before we came down. And that's why I was that's in my favorite house. word. I swear. It's my favorite word. All right. Who's next? Okay. No looking. Okay. No looking. All right. Respect the sanctity of the game, GP. I'm respecting the sanctity of the game. But you can, we should write one for Vanessa. So if you want to write one, we can or I can. Kevin, yeah. you want to write me one? Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. And then as soon as you're done writing it, you're going to stick it to GB's forehead. I'm scared. I believe in you. I, Honestly, the only one that should have been scared yesterday was Gerard. Oh my God. What did you guys put oh, on Gerard's he, I didn't. Will did him dirty. What? Just a name for a kitty cat. It's a name oh, for a kitty there cat. There are images of him with that posted on his pure forehead. <laughs> <laughs> Just drew a penis That's on That's why he looked all disheveled this morning in the, uh, you know, the Xbox well, didn't and know the show. What it was. We explained it and the poor guy basically exploded. <laughs> Oh, and I hate, I'm glad that Kasim's not looking at chat because there is I'm a not. new emote in chat that is, uh, Oh no. It is straight oh, up stolen. No. Oh, it is no. just All right. Stolen. Kasim, you ready with that sticky? Kasim, uh, what, no. we need one word, buddy. I've been stretching and stalling for one word. That's a good host right there. Thank you. That's a good host right stretching there. And stretching, stretching, good stretching, stretching and stalling. Stretching and stalling. Stretching and stalling. Oh, stalling. it's going to be so good. You're never gonna. That's a buddy cop film. You're never gonna yeah. catch stretching and stalling. You ready? You ready? Okay. Stretching, yep. I'm stalling. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, don't, don't look at the monitor. Yeah, look towards the camera. Okay. 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 Yep. okay don't look. You're at the monitor. I can't. I can't. Okay. You're and never now, gonna get it. Back this way. Back this way. Okay. All right. Fire away. Uh, am I? A this is obscure. No. No. Okay. Uh, am I a fruit? No. I'm not any kind of food. No. <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, am I a body part? No. No. Okay. Am I an object? No. No. <laughs> mm, no. Okay. No. Uh, am I a, a mm, I was going to say am I a thing, but obviously I am a thing. You are a thing. Uh, am I solid? Yes. Okay. Uh, am I phallical uh, in nature? Blender. Oh, wait. Yes. But yes, you're solid. Go ahead. Am I phallical in nature? No. No. Okay. Now I'm disappointed in you, Cass. Uh, am I solid? Okay. So I'm solid. Phallica would breed. Phallical. <laughs> phallical. Phallical. Oh, fal fal oh okay. No. no. It's just still no. Like akin to a ding ding. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so I am a solid. Uh, am I a, a rock of some kind? No. I might have led you astray with solid and making you think it's object, but I meant like solid is in the way that we are solid. He's never going to okay, so a gas. So it's, it's, so I'm a person. I'm a, no, I'm a, a oh my gosh. My like organs? Am I? Mm -hmm. Am I in? Mm -hmm. Is it inside of my body? Does it come no, out of me? I don't think so. No. I don't know what you do on your off time, but I don't think so. <laughs> okay. Do you want it? Do we give him a hint? I'll take a hint. Um. Let's just say. I hate your your shitty. It's print, alive. Right? That's a hint. It's alive. Could, be. Could bounce. 
It could also be alive and dead at the same time. Unless we're talking about the the market. My my an NFT? No. Am am I a am I You could be. You could be an OG NFT actually. But no. That's a blue chip hint. That's a blue chip. Hashtag crypto kids in chat. Hashtag crypto kids. I am stumped. I genuinely I'll give you one. You're an animal. Okay, yeah, yeah. I asked if I was an animal. You did? Okay. I don't did you? I don't think you did. He didn't? I don't think oh, you did. Oh, maybe I didn't ask. Uh, I could have, yeah, maybe, maybe. I asked, except maybe I didn't. Uh, uh, am I, watch am, okay, what kind of. Geo doc, what kind of. This is going to. Am I feline? Am I. Oh, oh yes. yep, yes. yep. I feel like you're close to saying the word on your head. Yes. My pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Pussy cat. Pussy cat. Oh, 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 wait. Pussy cat. Yeah, look at the monitor, like you potty like mouthed. Go ahead and look at the monitor. Look at the monitor. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I sorry. I am sorry. This was a this was a kids show. Oh God. We were on Pluto Junior, and now we're off. We're off yeah, Pluto we're off Junior. Pluto Junior now. Oh yeah. You know what? Oh, sorry, guys. We're gonna take a break because we. Have <laughs> there goes our Joker sponsorship. We're gonna take a break. Yeah. We'll come back. We're gonna play. A word game with Kasim and Vanessa, and we're going to okay. get some more of your photoshops and oh, some other my. BS, but I'm sorry. We have oh. got to get this back to PG. Wow, I'm sorry. He guys. is not for... I'm sorry! And we're back! Yeah. Back the show presents Vibe Jack. It's me, KP, here with G, B, K, G, and V, G. What the hell was that? Bro, you got it. You got to, you know, you was my vocal like, fry. Let it, let it come out of you, Cass. Like, yeah, that's right. Yeah, we're back. Like, 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 like yeah. retro you. Wait, <clears throat> wrong show. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Do it, okay. do it though. Do it. You want to do it with me? Do Cass? it. You want to do it with me? What I'll do. Vanessa, you want to do it with me? The word. Did you see the show word that was on the pad? I didn't see the word. Okay. I was looking at, was looking okay. at memes. Cass, do it with me. I want you only to do it with me. Hold my hand when you do it. All right. Three, two, one. Retribution! You shot! from the diaphragm. He's not frying yeah, you gotta, his throat with You got to really let it fry. Do you have a word for Cass? Uh, do, uh, am I supposed to put a word on Cass? I thought you I, were going to put a word on I was going to put one on Vanessa's head. Okay, so we'll yeah, do that I'll, while I'll, you I'll get a word a, for Cass. Here, let me go. I'll Vanessa, put no a, looking. Put a, Vanessa, no looking. No looking. Here we go. Um, let's see here. I'm only going to be um, looking at pictures of cool, cool cucumbers as they come in. Here we go. Oh, wait, let me get this. It, yeah. it, it, it. Did you see it? Nope, I just no, turned okay. off the monitor. I'm going to let you. Here we go. Forehead. Okay. You want to be respectful of spaces. And also, there's okay. a lot of makeup on my forehead, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, okay. We'll hold, but here we go. Okay. All right, let's go. Oh, you got, did I cover your eyes with it? Okay, that's fine. Yeah, but it's fine. Okay, All I can't right. see it of you, but it's fine. Vanessa? Okay. Whenever you're ready. Ooh. Am I alive? No. Oh. Yes. No, you're not. Oh, Don't freak some what? Oh my god. In hell. You piece oh, I thought of crap. She live on the stream. Oh my god. No, you're not. She you're you're, you're not alive. alive. You're not no. alive. Am I dead? No. Uh, well, you're, you're not no. you're not living. Am I an object? Yes. yes. Uh, am I an object that people use every day? Mm, some might. Depends but, on the profession. But I would say no on average. Let's say no. I would say no on average. Good god. Uh, am I bigger than a bread box? No. Well, what the oh, hell no. is a bread box? About a, a big box as to a cat. keep your friggin' bread in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you. Dirt. But it's literally in the name. Yeah, Am I a fridge? Fridge? It's the same thing as a dick for. Filthy fork. zoomer. What's a dick for, Kevin? Oh shit! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh, <that's great. laughs> we didn't need to reuse that. We didn't need to reuse that part of the set. I think we're good. Am I something that's just happened? You've lost uh, it. No, you're not. You uh, dropped an effort and then destroyed the set? What's a dick for? <laughs> oh, my God. You are smaller than a bread box, Vanessa. Yes. This is like when I deznetted someone and then they never talked to me again. Um, I indulged too much. Uh, do I make sound? Yes. Am I an instrument? Yes. Mm. yes. 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 Am I a percussion instrument? No. I don't know what that means. No. <laughs> uh, am I a woodwind? I don't know what it's uh, for. No. No, you're not, not a woodwind. Usu- not traditionally. Well, not a, I not, a tra- not usually. Not, not traditionally. Not I would say not usually. Do I make sound by blowing air through me? Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Do I have to buzz? By the way, lips? that question was exactly what I wanted to hear out of this kind of question. Yes. 
<laughs> can we get that one more clean, Vanessa? I'm sorry, could I ask that last question again? Yeah. Do you make sound by blowing air through me? Thank you. Okay. Yes, you, you do. Yeah. Do you yes, have to you buzz do. your lips when you do it? Yeah. yeah. Am I a trumpet? No. Am I annoying? Yes. 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 Am I a party whistle? No, but good guess. Close. No, party whistles. I th- yeah, no. It's close. Can you win me at a Dave and Buster's? Yes. Yes, yes. you can. Am I a kazoo? Yeah! yeah! Vanessa <laughs> Castro! She's good. Wow. I can turn my monitor back you on. You are so yes. smart. I have to play this game with children a lot. I couldn't I figure been, out I, I had to figure out a cat. I ran the numbers. I can afford it. <laughs> yeah, I know. You know what what I mean? Like before I threw I'm like, whatever. <laughs> But it's, it's a Have you gun. not gotten your shoes back? Off. I got and your sandals still on the. Listen. <laughs> oh, some great socks. What is those uh, Marshalls? Uh, is your Sassonis. shoes still on the Sassonis? shelf? Sassonis? 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 Okay. Those are the ugliest socks I've ever seen. These are athletic socks. What are your socks, socks okay? looking like, Cass? Football. Why are you throwing shade? Oh, oh, okay. oh wait a minute. Hold oh, on yeah. a second. Oh, oh my God. Oh, I my love God. socks. Uh-huh. Oh, my God. Nice, right? Air. That's right. Wiki feet. Wiki feet. Clip it now. No, those, those will be reported because they have to be bare. Oh, that's right. That's yeah. I, I'm, I'm congrats so Congrats on the kazoo guess. Well Thank played. you. Well played. Do we have a word for Cass? We do. Okay. Did Close I your eyes. Closing. There you go, buddy. As long as it happened on camera. Okay. Ooh, okay. Figure this one did you fine. now? Did you? Okay. Look down the bench. Close your eyes. But look down the barrel so they can see it. <laughs> yes. Right. Okay. Okay. I think we got it. Am I a person? No. 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 Am I an object? No. To some. It's going to fall. <laughs> to some, but no. What does that mean? That it's, it's, I'm helping you. To I'm going to say no. Am I an animal? I'm going to be a friend yes. and say no and say you're an animal. I'll yes. Say yes. Okay, animal. Uh, do I have uh, fur? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, you Not do. at birth. Uh, am I a uh, uh, chicken? No. no. Because chickens, chickens don't have, have fur. fur. Chickens don't have fur. What kind of chickens are you having? I was thinking about not having it and then having it, at birth, you know? Yeah. Uh, okay. That was a good hint. Doggy? <laughs> not doggy. Style? No. Not doggy. Not doggy. Ask more questions. Am I uh, uh, a pet? Yes. Yes. Okay. Am I uh, a rat? <laughs> no. 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 Okay. Am you're I not. a hedgehog? No. No. Okay, am I uh, uh, small, like a bread? Smaller than a bread, bread box. box. Smaller than a bread, bread box. box. Smaller than a bread box. You're smaller than you bread box. you put girls. me in a bread bucket? You could put, you could put in a bread bucket. You put you in a whole bucket of bread. You could put in a bucket of bread, yeah. Am I uh, portable? Yeah. Yeah, you're portable. Do, I, uh, do you put me in a carrying case? Could. No. You could. Mm, you could. You could if you, you could. wanted to. Yeah. Uh, I'm not a snake. Not a snake. No, you're not a snake. Because I have you have fur. Because you have fur. Not at birth. But not at birth. I am a sloth. No, no, you're not. Although, do they come out funny. naked? I think just I'm done. Probably. <laughs> well, then, that might be a crime in like <laughs> do you walk every me? country. No. no, 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 no. But they walk themselves. Do you put me in a ball? Yes. Yes. Am I am, sir? Yes. Yeah. No, I feel like a dumbass because I couldn't figure out cat because I had this. I, but it was no such a like Some it. people write, you know, some more sloppy. Some people go with that. You know? Great job, Cass. That was very fun. Isn't that fun? Yeah. yeah. It is fun. This is the this is the stream. I had a good this time. Is it. This is I don't know why we're if not we got, on the top of the chart. If we had a jip on this? Yeah. Is that are you allowed to say that? Yeah. We you can. Had, can you imagine if we had a mother freaking jib? Thank you. <sighs> Wait, didn't you guys have a jib? Yeah, we're here now. Anyway, oh, so moving on to see C- people have modded the game Sifu. <laughs> you, ever, you ever play seafood? I Anybody freaking, seafood? I freaking I love. I've been playing it. Seafood. Love it. it. Love seafood. Lobster uh, tails. No, not seafood. Mm. Seafood. Yeah, I'm on like a seafood, seafood diet. Uh, I seafood and I eat it. <laughs> you filthy freaking animal, dude. Oh, you're. I hope someone photoshops a pickle there. That's what I hope they do. You said I, that, and then you snuggled with your microphone. Yes. <laughs> yes. You can hear. Okay. It. Uh, what what about Sifu? What what? Well, the modding community has gone wild. Oh yeah. And if you want Yay. to, uh, like, I actually was one of the few that liked the Matrix video game when it came out. Not- I, I loved the it. Matrix okay. video game. Okay. Super great. Underrated. Well, uh, wait, are we talking about not, Enter the Matrix? Not the MMO. Enter the Matrix. Enter the Matrix. Yeah, yeah I would I would run that scene back with Ghost versus uh, Neo, I think, or Morpheus. 
over and over and over and over and over and over. I love that fight. The whole final sequence of flying the Nazareth, is that what it was called? The ship through the the tunnels so. or whatever? Garbage. Yeah. Garbage. Yeah. But some of the actual kung fu in the game, very yeah, fun. Yeah, super fun. The fighting. It was like a two-button fighter. Yeah, great. totally. And the gunplay was great. But now people have modded Sifu. I wish I knew more about Sifu the game. I think Vanessa probably knows the most, or GB. I've I know, been playing I it. I wish it was a little less Souls-like. Um, oh. I, I, I wish that it wasn't as oh, punishing, this is great. um, because I've been wanting to do more Kung Fu stuff. Right. This is amazing. This is so deeply up my alley. And the reason I liked Sifu is that it's clearly made by people that like love martial arts movies. Like oh, the opening course. has a reference to the raid, which is incredible. And the yeah. old boy hallway fight. Yeah. Um, and this just makes all the sense considering the matrix was choreographed by Yuan Wu Ping, who's like one of the greatest Kung Fu choreographers yep. of all time. So I, I'm obsessed with this mod. This mod makes me want to go back real bad. Oh, dude, oh, and they could do this Nebuchadnezzar. Scene. That's right. Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar. This looks Thank fun. You. Well, the Nebuchadnezzar was Morpheus' ship. Yeah. That's right. Oh, okay. Is that what you flew in? I thought you flew, I thought you you flew, flew Nairobi's ship. Uh, Ooh, maybe. I, I forgot what that one was. Jada Pinkett? That's right. Yeah. Look at this. This looks great. Look at that. Agent Smith to all. When enemies? I saw, so when what I heard Vanessa's mean? criticism of the game, that was, I was like, oh, no, because I when I saw this, I was like, oh, this looks like a fun brawler. This looks like. Power stone ish combos and pick up items and use them and this, that, the other. But I don't want this to be like one hit kill kind of thing. I want this to be. A I fun wish it was action. more of a brawler. I wish it was more of a brawler. It I looks like it though, is it not? Like, is what, this, Sifu? Yeah. No, it, it is. It's the elements of just like dying and going back so far. I yeah. almost, I yeah, almost yeah, yeah. If you're not you in, if are. you're not into the like, you know, like the, the reset process, right? Yeah. Like dying, going back, dying, going back. If you're not into that, like Sifu is going to be a tough game. It, it's not an incredibly long game, but it is a challenging game to play. Yeah, it's definitely challenging. Uh, and, and so like the, the premise of the story, if you hadn't played the game yet you are uh the child of a of a martial arts master uh who was killed by uh his uh his pupil mm. and you then are on a quest to essentially take out the people who killed your master a little little uh little kill bill like almost yeah because like each stage is a different master that you have to take on and uh bushido man yeah and what's really fascinating about it is the respawn mechanic so when you die in the game, you respawn or you come back to life, but you're older. And then if you die again, you're older again. So like the game even reacts to it. Where like when you r rise back, the person like who you're fighting is like, how the hell is that even possible? Like they say it. And like you can literally go into stage two, like 70 years old, still like kicking really? ass and stuff like that. Your only weapon is a pickleball paddle. <laughs> 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 I'm just effing with you. We'll be back with more vibe check after this. That was fast. Uh, well, I know. That's why I had to do it. You know? <laughs> I hope you don't mind me switching the vibes up, fam, because oh, uh, I want to shift the tone and talk about tone er. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I'm talking about wow. the printed image. You know, they say a photo's worth a thousand words, but how much is ink on a page worth? In fact, several pages mm -hmm. of it. I it's worth like a dollar seventy-five. It's expensive. Yeah, toner is expensive. But the comics right, yeah. are still what? Three bucks? Four bucks? Still pretty cheap. Yeah, three bucks. Some of them are up to four or five now. Yeah. Wow, inflation. <laughs> Am I right? That's yeah. right. That's Can't right. live without it. Or you probably could. You, but well, actually, I think ideally we we, we want to. Right. But. We won't. Point is, it's time to talk about comics in Kasim's yes! Kink Corner. That's not what we're calling the segment, Kasim's It was the Kink Ink corner. corner, but it's Kasim's Ink Corner, so it's the Kink Corner. Ah, that makes sense, actually. It, it, so or long as like, the K is like a lowercase yeah. K, you know? Yeah. Well, you know, GB brought You're this up uh, recently because uh, G4 made a tweet. This is the only time... I've paid attention to the tweet. Mm. Yes, the only time, because uh, you don't really use Twitter that much. You use a... Uh, I'm not big on the Twitter. Snail mail. No. No, he's verified on Parlor. Oh, okay. I am sounding off on Parlor every night. I do a spaces every night. Every night. This is actually great. Uh, why don't you guys in the chat let us know with the letter? What are you most? What are you guys most excited about? Huh? Yeah. I'll tell you what. I all of the above, by the way. Now, now that you've seen A, yeah, is that changed any of your feelings around the rest of this? Uh, 
I will say that even seeing, I was I was always excited for Halo, I but just, sorry, I just saw a run of C hard in chat. For me, it's Obi Wan. It's all mixing up. For yeah? me, it's Obi Wan. I am I am the I am a huge. Oh, I didn't bring my lightsaber. I am a huge Star Wars nerd. Mm. Uh, <laughs> How many times have you said that sentence in your life? <laughs> oh, I didn't bring my lightsaber. No, man, darn it. <laughs> and I have the dark saber as well. Oh. Uh, yeah, I'm a big Star Wars nerd, and uh, and and Obi Wan Obi Wan's gonna be good. I'm very excited for this. This looks uh, dope. Yeah. And from what I understand, Ewan McGregor has played this role before. Yes, he has. And he is back. Reprising it, as they Reprising say. Reprising it, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. um, I'm glad everyone likes uh, C. Because Are we talking through all of them? I'm talking about B today. Okay. No, I, I so I'll talk about C. I'll talk about Obi Wan. Yeah, okay. We're each going to talk uh, about what there, we like. There is a lot of hype around this Obi Wan series because after uh, Book of Boba Fett, which I thought Book was Boba very Fett. good, uh, because I enjoyed just the different perspective of you know the Star Wars universe, right? Um, and how like Boba Fett's like a reformed person trying to like you know clean up and and leave the world a better place, which is a nice thing. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like with this, we are gonna get this incredibly vital part of the Star Wars you know timeline that has kind of just been largely that has been ignored. And that is what what happened with Obi Wan between the the fight in Mustafar with uh, with Anakin to you know him finding or Luke finding him in A New Hope? Uh, this isn't going to necessarily fill that gap entirely, but I think it's going to give us a lot of context. Uh, we're also getting the jet, the uh, Sith Inquisitors, uh, which is really really cool. Um, it's basically like uh, Palpatine's, you know, a uh, force, like it's uh, his, his military police, if you will. Uh, so yeah, I am just super, super excited for this. And I think, uh, and it's Ian McGregor, man. Like I'm just right. so pumped for him to just, he is one of those actors that I will show up for. Yeah. Him no alone. He's worth, it's worth watching just for Ian McGregor. And you know who else I'll show up for time and time again is Oscar Isaac. Damn right. I think he's one of the best working actors we got today. Him and Pedro Pascal, Gabriel Luna. Him and Pedro Pascal. Incredible, Oscar Incredible actors. Yeah. These are some of the best guys Guatemalan. we got on the screen today. Yeah. My mom tells everybody that Oscar Isaac is Guatemalan. She's never seen a single Star Wars movie, but she wants everyone to know. <laughs> yeah. He's yep. Guatemalan. Right. But he's, you know, to me, he's not even the Star Wars guy because he was so underutilized in those movies. He's he's the guy from uh, Ex Machina. Inside Louis me. Davis. He's, uh, yeah, he's so good. And so Moon Knight is the show I'm most looking forward to. And so I, I decided I would, you know, maybe brief people. Because not a lot of people know what Moon Knight is. Right? Uh, hello. <laughs> okay, Kevin. <laughs> Actually, no clue. No. Moon Knight is a sick character. Really? Moon Knight is a sick yeah. character, right? And if you're going to just give somebody the quick once over on what Moon Knight is, he's essentially, he has uh, dids that's dissociative identity disorder so mm -hmm. he has multiple oh like united states of terra one of these personalities yeah. is a mercenary mm -hmm. okay mark Spector. Uh -huh. one of these personalities is a cab driver one of these personalities is a hollywood producer one of these personalities is moon knight one of these personalities is mr knight okay now the reason i'm excited for this is because since oscar isaac is such a great character actor he's playing five essentially he'll be playing five right. different characters in this yeah the story of mark Spector theoretically is, we, we don't know yet right we don't know for sure we know he's playing we, two for sure we're gonna be taking some guesses here yeah. and it seems like they've already kind of changed a little bit of what the one of the characters was but mark Spector was a mercenary for hire he dies uh at the uh on, on some a deal that goes bust. Yep. Um, and he dies at the foot of an Egyptian statue of Khonshu, which is the Egyptian god of the moon. And the moon god brings him back, and he says, I'll bring you back, little baby boy. I'll have you walk this earth again as long as you do my bidding. You become mm. my fist. Yeah. You know, and so uh, he comes back to life, and he is powered with the, the, the power of the moon. And he... Uh, Did he have the personality disorder before he perished? Um, we know? There is essentially what I'll show you here. In that first origin issue, um, there's no there's no real like personality thing. That's something mm. they added in a little bit later. Yeah. Um, moon Knight, from what we see in the trailer, 
the character that he plays is Stephen. It's what they call him, Stephen Grant, but he gets a phone call and, and they refer to him as Mark. So we know at least he's two characters. Two. At least he's playing two. We versions. see Mister Knight in the newer trailer. That's three. And did we, we see Mister Knight in the newer trailer? Yeah. I didn't see that. I'm so, trying to stay away from trailers for this one, to be fair. <laughs> and that's smart. Uh, right. So I, I like to collect comic books, mm-hmm. and um, our resident uh, comic book Yoda, uh, Brian Compton, B Comp, was nice enough to lend some trades. And I'm going to give you guys some recommendations on some trades uh, that if you were interested in who Moon Knight is, don't mm-hmm. know where to start. Yep. We're going to give you some info. If you're into comic book collecting, I brought some uh affordable and some not affordable Moon Knight keys if you guys are interested in Ooh. dabbling a little bit. I'm excited. What are keys, by the way? Important mm-hmm. issues that oh, okay. were either a first appearance of key a character or got key it. issues. Got it, okay. Um, and so for the most part, a lot of people are going to refer to the Warren Ellis run of Moon Knight as a great place to start because it's like uh, super digestible. It's um, the first time we see uh, Mr. Knight, that yep. character. And, you know, Warren Ellis, who was kind of a problemat- problematic writer, he's got some, he's got had some uh, things come up in the last couple of years, mm. but he's, he's one of my, my favorite comic book, Transmetropolitan. He's also the writer of that. I do recommend you guys um, get Marvel Unlimited yep. because oh, this is so out good. of- That's what I got. That's how I actually just read the or entire- it's too expensive. Warren Ellis run. What do you think? Of- I, I loved it. Uh, yes. For me in particular, uh, if I can actually maybe pull it up, but for me in particular, the art style was just... Oh, like, I have it here. Yeah, I know, but it's show. like, I, you know... Oh, clear. yeah. Well, I don't know if we're not supposed to open it. You know, oh, we're, not, we're allowed to do what... I, we'll yeah. do what as I say. Okay. There are a few panels here that are just like, you know, it's just like the way that he, he like drew the character outright. You see yeah. just God, so a lot gorgeous. of these, uh, just a lot of the details, the hard, the hard lines, right? Like the, mm-hmm. the clear contrast between him and the city. Uh, like he knows that he stands out like a sore thumb. And, and there's like a, a panel where uh, the, one of the police officers is like, uh, are you going to go out there, you know, looking, looking like, like that? that. Yeah. And he's like, I want to, I want them to see me coming. Oh, no. And, and like just stuff like that, you know, if, if I had to compare him, if you are at the bare minimum familiar with comic book characters uh, and but you've never really read comics, uh, if you want to say this and correct me if I'm wrong here, he's kind of like a supernatural ish version of Batman. It's it's kind of sort of he's got gadgets. Mm-hmm. He's got, you know, he, he's rich. He's got a lot of things that, you know, work out in his benefit. Uh, he's got like a kick ass suit. Yeah. Um, but, but he's also done some effed up stuff. Too. Yeah, but he's also a terrible person. So he's he doesn't have that moral backbone that Batman does. Um, but he also has all these different personalities. So he's very interesting. A real fun um, watch or read. I'm sorry. Does he flip between the personalities like a radio station, or is it? I go to bed. I wake up. Sometimes and personality. Yeah, yeah. Depends on the story sometimes as well. Sometimes it's quick. Yeah. Okay. Because sometimes- this story is very much Mark Spector and Mr. Knight. This story here. Right. Uh, this run by Jeff Lemire does a really good job of jumping back and forth between all the personalities, but not in a way that's super confusing because each personality has a different uh, distinct art style. So you always know kind of what's going on. Yeah. Um, Jeff Lemire also who did uh, Sweet Tooth and Underwater Welder and um, uh, Gideon Falls. There's a, he's a terrific writer. Uh, I really enjoyed, this is a more modern run of Moon Knight. Um, and then it's cool because New York becomes like ancient Egypt and, and it like flip flops between these two worlds. And we will see a couple characters from the trailer that we've seen. I think we'll see from this book. Um, this secret Avengers is great because he kicks all the Avengers asses. Yeah, pretty is that much. the, uh, no, it's not, no it and, uh, it's, it's kind of what happens when, uh, Moon Knight and Conchu go up against the Avengers. Get out of town. Is okay, that what so, I think it is? So when got, it comes, we, we got a Marshall on the horizon. Gotta, I just want to make that clear, so we can come back. When we come back. We're going to talk about some of the collectibles that you guys, if you're interested in getting in. Don't tell them. me. You got to tell them. Get in. Don't tell that. me. I know we're coming back. We're going to come back. And when we come, come back, back with some collectible uh, recommendations right after this, stick around. Stick around. We'll be right back. Not going to waste time with the intros. We're going to get right back into the comic stuff because you have something to rapid fire and then we're going to do your questions and then we're going to do the apology thing. Go, Casa! Thank you, Kevin. Uh, For those of you that are comic book collectors or looking to get into comic books, I have taken the liberty of bringing in some of what I think are the most important keys 
and some speculative keys for those of you that are interested in watching the Moon Knight Disney Plus series, okay? Now, Moon Knight, the character, is introduced in Werewolf by Night 32. Which I was reading Werewolf by Night because it came as a suggestion to a friend and turns out not a very good comic. <laughs> this, uh, it, it's, it's, it's not great. No, and it's not. It's uh, essentially a two-issue arc where Moon Knight goes to try and apprehend Werewolf by Night. This is the introduction. This is of the introduction. Moon Knight. Oh, okay. But Moon Knight is such a cool character that um, quickly after this. By the way, this is an expensive comic. Most people, including me, I, I bought this uh, a while back. I've been expensive. priced out. This comic, at, uh, which is a low grade, four and a half, is probably like sixteen, seventeen hundred bucks right now, which is not terrible. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it's not it's like a quarter of a JPEG. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is this is not as cool as a JPEG. Right. Um, but and it is it is kills me inside. Essentially <laughs> the first this is the first appearance. So for those of you that like me, I like to collect first appearances. Yeah. This is where you would start. Okay? okay. So it's like a physical NFT, Kevin. Mm, I don't get it. Oh, yeah. I don't get it. You don't I get need it. digital scarcity. That's fair. I need royalties built in for the <laughs> Marvel Spotlight 28. Oh, it's a 10 point scale. I didn't know that. This, yep, they go yeah. up to 10. I really don't Hardly know. ever any see any 10s out there. Okay. Yeah, especially with this age, and you can see like the creases and stuff like that. It's kind of hard. This is his first spinoff. This is his first appearance outside of uh, any other comic that wasn't Werewolf by Night. Um, this is also where you uh, are introduced to Marlene. This is my signed uh, autograph Doug Mensch uh, <laughs> copy, which is, which is I take a lot of pride in this. Can I look at that? Yes, you please can. Please can. This is so cool, dude. That guy's going to run you a few hundred bucks. Um, it's not terribly expensive, but it, it is uh, uh, attainable. This is you can you, get them. They are. You can get them. Okay. People sell them. This is the first ongoing Moon Knight series. Mm-hmm. Um, that was a limited series. This is like where the this is the first appearance of Conchu. This is first appearance of the Bushman. Um, all a lot of the big uh, characters in the series first appeared here and totally affordable. Yeah. And I, I don't even have, this is a 9.2. I think I paid like 150 bucks for this when I bought it. Um, and I, I don't think they're that much more now. Okay. These are the big ones. These are my slabbed boys. Those are the keys. They're good. Now, for oh. those of you that want to spend a lot less, I brought some choice keys. Let's, get, let's race through those nugs. Warren this is Ellis. issue one of the Warren Ellis run. Okay. This is first appearance of the Mr. Knight. Yep. Uh, this runs about 60, 65 bucks right yeah. now. Okay. In a high grade. This is the Lemire number one issue. Mm. This is a uh, first appearance of um, Dr. Emmett. Now we think there's going to be Dr. Emmett, who is the crocodile head. You know, how he gets a crocodile head uh, yeah. cell phone call. That's from Could be him. Dr. Emmett from Has make sure him. like a, a crocodile head appearance in issue three of the Je- Jeff Lemire series. Okay. Mm-hmm. These are modern runs. Now, Ethan Hawke, what's he playing? We think he's going to play the Sun King. Yeah. Now, in the trailer, they play that Day and Night song by Kid Cudi. Uh, night being Moon Knight. Day would be the, the sun, sun God. And that avatar is the Sun King, um, yeah. which we think Ethan Hawke will be playing two different characters. One of them is this. The other one is Arthur Harrow, which is kind of like a minor nobody character. Um, but this is a, a, a great arc that comes after the Lemire run. But uh, this is his first appearance in 188. This is his first cover appearance. Yeah, 190. Okay. So good. I'm just going to show you my favorite covers by Bill Sinkovich. He's one of my favorite Moon Knight uh, artists, which I really like. This not one. exclusively Moon Knight. He just has done. He's he's done Moon my Knight favorite covers. Moon Knight it, covers. Right? Yeah, this is the new run. This is a one in one hundred variant, which uh, I'm happy to have. This will run like you like seventy bucks. Blood. This one's, that one's uh, cool. yeah. This one is a, a good Werewolf by Night That's issue. This one, oh man, what happens here? This is a, a brother voodoo uh, team up with Moon Knight. And this one, I got to look. Should have looked at that before. Midnight Man. Mm-hmm. The actor is supposed to be playing Midnight Man in the series. Yeah. French actor, now dead. I don't know what they're going to do. Okay? Oh, snap. snap. I didn't realize Have that. they filmed with? They filmed with him. Oh, okay. I thought maybe that the French actor was going to play Frenchie, which is Moon Knight, Mark Spector's right-hand man but he was cast as Midnight Man, according to some casting rumors. Um, this is a Midnight Man appearance. This is Moon Knight number three. Okay. Damn, I didn't know that one. This is a Randall Specter key. So if, if Moon Knight's brother ever makes an appearance, you're going to want uh, Moon Knight 35 here, mm-hmm. the Mark Specter run. This is a team-up. Spider-Man, yep. Punisher, 
First team up, love the always pun. fun. Love Punisher pun. makes a lot of appearances in Moon Knight. Yeah. This is first uh, stained glass Scarlet. Oh appearance. my God, I love that cover. It's a yeah. great cover. Good. She plays a nun, an ex-nun that uh, ends up killing her son. Uh, and this is a first appearance of Morpheus. We may see some some version of Morpheus. I don't know if we will, movie. though. I mean, it might, be a little, it might be too much. But this is such a cheap comic yeah. that uh, if you guys like get your hands on it for 10 bucks, go ahead and get that. Um, rumors that there will be one of the, or all three of the Hellbent, which are like human demon uh, people. Um, a version of them. I don't know. I mean, again, it could be you, too you much. You want to get the first appearance of any yeah. version of any character, and this is uh, the- uh, Definitely uh, where to go. Uh, Moon Knight 58 here. These are- Moon Knight keys, I suggest picking up super cheap unless you want to go for the big boy world of Moon Knight 32. Yeah. And if you just want to read, which I was is just, what I've been doing. That's what I was going to ask. Is this pick it up to collect specifically or These, pick it up this to is the read? Collect. This okay. is the collect. The but read if, is if what you we want to read. About. You just want to read Marvel Unlimited. Yeah. Just go to Marvel Unlimited, subscribe there. That's what I have. I have that. I also have the DC Universe uh, one as well. Um, fantastic. You get everything that you could possibly want out of there. Like, I'm not much of a collector. Mm -hmm. uh, like, I prefer to just kind of, like, engross myself in the story. So, yeah, I would definitely suggest uh, picking up these if you want to collect. But Marvel Unlimited, if you just want to read them. There you go. That's it. That's your Moon Knight uh, second. I can't wait. It's going to be a good show. We're pumped. Jeez. Oh, my Who's that? God. Who's that? <laughs> I think I just got lobotomized. That's why I have my headphones Oh. Jesus. Oh yeah, comic comicsology as well is another option. Yeah, I appreciate yeah. the uh the shot across the bow it got my attention. I'm that glad was, I did not have my head. That was a straight up concussion grenade. <clears throat> so anyways, Jared Pavau would like to know if G4 hosted oh a pickleball tournament, can GB cast it? I got to first find out what pickleball is. Oh. And then and then God. I can then I can commentate it. But yes, I can <laughs> commentate anything. So that hurt so I can't like I know oh, these, no. these things have a maximum they output. Really got you, huh? I genuinely like. Can you even hear? Me? Are you ringing? No, I, he, there was a ringing for a second, and now it's it's like a little it's a little muffled. Yeah, I, I don't think we do the headphones. Uh, I recommend you just stop being a little bitch. Oh, Can I recommend that. I, I wish I could Can hear I you. I recommend that you just sack up. Why couldn't they have done bitch? that to me before you talked about hey, Moon Knight for hey, four hey, hours? Kevin, <laughs> <yeah. laughs> How dare you, sir? Let me, put, let me put my slabs. Hey, Cass, do you want to just yeah. do you just want to like do like a like world a, record slow run any percent Moon Knight? You no, just want to show your collection. Do you just want to take this room and then turn it into a comics podcast, bro? Please. You know I'd love to, GB. It's freaking just retribution it, by day. If you guys want to see a comic show night. with me, GB. VG, mm -hmm. BC, W N, w, and not oh, yeah, yeah. KP. And not KP. Let not us me. know. Let us know in the Discord. That's it. Or the I'll make it easier. You want to see content without me in it? Go to Discord. <laughs> Go to it. Just unite. That's my you favorite place. You have to unite them around Love comics. The it's just a universal hatred of Love me. Love the Reddit. Join yeah. us. There's a I fantastic community of people on our G4 TV Discord. Yeah, I was. I was Reddit. loud. That was blistering. I I heard it. I it shook. I'm Googling what to do after people. hearing damage. <laughs> what? Is that good? We got. Up, do. I like how Vanessa is just like okay. looking up uh, what to do. Uh, right. uh, exclamation point Q. White noise. That's what I am. That's what, that's what <laughs> Kevin is. Yeah. Making his way to the ring. Kevin White Noise Panera. Um, do, do we have time for, uh, exclamation point cues? We've got we some cues. Uh, and then on the break, we'll tell G GB all about pickleball. Uh, cyanide daydreaming wanted to know what's everyone's first video game system. Oh, first played was probably the Intellivision at my grandpapa's house. I don't know what's going on with that Amico, by the way. You hear, see, you hear the drama? You oh, hear that? yeah. I mean, of course. Yeah. yeah. For those who, well, I mean, I guess uh, let's, we'll get, go around the horn with the answers and then we can get into the yeah. tiny television. Yeah, yeah. Let's just do all, another maybe. one of these. But I think it's uh, in television. This is the last one. This is it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fine. I turned this into some sort of comics discussion thing. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in television for me, had a voice add on. Okay. The IntelliSpeak, Intellivision Speak, I don't know. Yeah. And you'd pop your Intellivision cartridge into the voice mm -hmm. modulator mm -hmm. and it would talk to you. You sound so. B7 That's how Kevin B had a friend. Bomber. And you play the games. What about you? First console or first video game? Ga probably Game Boy for me. And then I got a Sega Genesis. Hell yeah, dog. 
Okay. Genesis does what Nintendo don't. That's right. They so had that's blood because they had problem. blood on Mortal Kombat, and I didn't want the system that didn't have blood. Abacab. SNES. A B A C A B B. That's right. Yep. That was the code you put in. That's right. That's right. Every time. A B C A B B. Maybe. Uh, played NES. First console owned Sega Genesis. And Whoa, first game things. owned in that Sega Genesis was Sonic Spinball. Oh wow! And that was Wait, the so only that, game so I had for the a long ass time. Packed in with like altered beasts. Like, no, I, I I got the Genesis that came packed in with Sonic Spinball, Woo. and that was the only game I had. And then that actually not started my game. love for pinball. Yeah, not a bad game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ended up becoming a huge pinball fan because of Sonic Spinball. So pinball's look at that. having a renaissance right now. Kaka. <laughs> oh, Vanessa, you don't want to say your first? Uh... Oh, first played uh, NES and SNES because uh, that's what everybody uh, I was related to in Central America had, and we were always. A couple of years behind, first owned GameCube, and it was uh, Eternal Darkness was first game. Oh wow! Did you ever play Eternal Darkness? Never, never had a GameCube. It did would it mess did. with you? Yeah, trippy game. Like oh, adjust the brightness on your TV or whatever. It's a deleting your save file. Yeah, or it'd fake a reboot. They actually yeah. patented it. Uh, Nintendo ended up patenting it, and it was my favorite thing in the universe because it felt like they cared about my experience. Yep, and then Nintendo and did the nothing with it after. And in yep. actuality, they don't give a shit about you. Kaka. <laughs> wow let's go to a break this I, total hamster you shouldn't have done that I, I, you don't do that this side of the I, table I, loves comics I know I got it I genuinely have reduced hearing we're gonna be right back and I don't know up a little bit I'm telling you it really I, yeah I was like I even this right now is yeah like, yeah, I've had why. I've returned Bluetooth speakers for being this loud. <laughs> no, I can't have that. Too loud for my Too loud. for my taste. Um, <laughs> Discord fire today. I bless your hearts. Love our Discord chat. You're amazing. Love the shout Discord. out to our tough daddies on Discord. Tough, tough daddies. daddies and hopefully the pancake poppies. If the pancake poppies are a thing now. I, I want to sponsor a little league team just to call them the pancake poppies. <laughs> I hope so. You know, and I hope our our, our lead player is you know Esteban Santos. <laughs> And I you want know. to drip syrup on that entire team. Nope, nope, nope. That's and, not what you want to do. dig into him with a he fork. He means like a Gatorade. Okay. Uh, no, maybe, no, maybe no, that no. could be Sponsored your apology, Caro. No, no. I want to take him yes. right on the pitcher's mound. Take him. And I want to just take a big Aunt Jemima and just pour it all over the pitcher's right, head. Okay. Oh, we're talking about... Uh, no. you, uh, maybe a log camet or a Caro or something else. That's that's problematic for so many reasons. Canadian yeah. maple syrup. Okay. Um, <laughs> great. Did I apologize to the... Stephen Colbert announced two days ago. Maybe it was yesterday because we had a vibe check yesterday. He's having a celebrity pickleball show. Yeah. He's a hero of mine I'm not that I never watch. Not a celebrity. Get it. But could I be like a line judge? Or could I run some like drills we, that are maybe, like digital content? You should be doing yes. this. Yes. Could we maybe just get a bunch of people from the G4 community to just message Stephen well, Colbert late night here's and say, please include at attack in your pickleball tournament. Please and thank you. Let's use these I would viewers. never, I would never have ever even thought of that or doing that. And Will Neff yesterday said, let's get hashtag. I think it was Kevin for pickleball. Or yeah. For, yeah. Something going. And people are tweeting to Stephen at home. And retweeting it and amplifying it. And now I don't know what to do because now there's a piece of me, which I said would happen. Yes. There's a piece of me that yes. really wants it. Yeah, now you, you sure want you it. deserve this. But then when it doesn't But you need happen, to get in front of it and put your face to the tweet because otherwise Kevin Bacon is going to be the one on the call. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, and, then, no. and, then, and then Kevin Bacon takes That's all the credit. The wrong Kevin. But he's a- Kevin Dillon's going to be out there. Kevin Dillon? You Not Kevin like Dillon. happen. Have it, but I meant to say happy. Damn, not Kevin Dillon. Anyways, Kevin, your apology's ready. Okay, great. I'd love to apologize for, remember, oh, for those who don't know, when we download apologies, the first sentence is written by Vanessa. The rest of it is written by an AI, and we don't know what we're saying until we say it. And so now, here we go. Here we go. Hello, your old pal Kevin here. I'm sorry I made fun of Moon Knight. I'm also sorry for the best friend I could have been. Okay. Good. Okay. Oh, did we, did we miss a no-no word? Oopsie. Okay. If you're reading this, <laughs> it's because I am dead. And in death, I can finally make amends. Now, I know it's a lot to ask, and I know it will take some time, but perhaps we can find it in our hearts to let bygones be bygones. I just want friends. I'll take whatever I can get. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Nice. And then yeah. I see a little girl mm? in a house coat and pajamas. What? what? Holding Marshall a rag doll. Kevin? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
<laughs> I didn't mean it. I'll never make fun of you again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's that's the passion we're looking for. Hello, Mr. Moon Knight. She says, Mr. Knight. Yeah, I've been looking for you. And then she punches me in the face. The girl? Hey, if you made it this far, you're probably wondering two things. What the frig is this story? And why did I go through all the trouble? Beautiful apology. Wow. Beautiful apology. Apology accepted. Felt it. Thank you. Felt I had to read around the camera. That's what this is, by the way. There's a camera in the way. I'm sorry. Yeah. I read around it. I did the best that I could. Okay. You did great, buddy. Thank you. Vanessa, hey, who's next? You. Do you need a... That. Cass, what do you want to say sorry for? I want to say sorry to Kevin for telling him to sack up and... Quit being a little beach. Okay. Okay. It sounded like a because he heard his because he heard his ears in the okay. headphones. Yeah, that's kind of you. Well, I have to come up with an apology. It's not really. Oh something wow! It's apologize. not even from the heart. Not even from the heart. But thankfully, the AI is from the heart. Is it from the heart? That would be nice. Because the AI, I, I would the be AI, AI, AI. Do it. The cruel intention that my former friend Cassim had. Yeah. Going terrible. into this bit. Let the GPT two decide. What I say. You don't get to say what GPT it is. You don't have GPT two, GPT three. You don't have the data set. Are you French? You don't have GPT two, GPT three. You guys just go in this direction with with uh, accents, and it's very impressive. You the GPT two. Oh, Henri. Yeah. Oh, Alex. Say yes to GPT. Yeah. And Pep. Just we like you in GPT. It's enough. It's enough. Yeah. You guys. Yeah, thank you. you guys hit, did it. We hit it. Did it. Right. We did it. And that's why we triple down. That's why we triple down. How many is the rule of fives? And and, and lost triple. I, the I think Dell Close said that. That's what he said. Sorry, I'm just reading. Taco joint. The taco joint. <laughs> okay. My ready, apology Cass? ready? Let's get that apology. Yours is ready. I gotta Let's stop throw wearing it up on the screen. Look, I gotta stop wearing. Yeah, this looks like an NFT. What you're wearing when I see Thanks, it on. Buddy. Mm -hmm. What's up, Pickle Poppies? It's me, Cassim G. I am so sorry, Kevin, for telling you to sack up and quit being a little B. Wow. You just read him as blank. B. All that B, lames you call music is whack. What? Wow. You probably think I'm lying, but I don't listen to your music. You're not even playing any shows in LA or Orange County. Wow. But when I hit up the Bay Area, I'm sure you'll be there. Until then, oh, that's nice. you can if. Oh, the wow. Whoa. Whoa. P.S. Kevin, I got a message to you from Snoop Dogg. Oh. He said, Fine, you, I can't stand your music and I hope you eat. Sure. Not even your girlfriend likes you. She told what? me she just wants to take your money and I'm going to <laughs> have a nice day. For more of Kasim G's songs, check out his website. <laughs> Source, SoundCloud. <laughs> Wow. Uh, apology accept? accepted. Wait, but you, were the, you accepted. were the songwriter and now you became the songwriter. I can't tell you how these things work. It's all magic on the internet. Clearly you can. This is all the Egyptian gods. Conchu. 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 Fist of yeah. Fist of Conchu. Oh, Lord. All right, GB, what are you apologizing for? Yeah, you I guess I'm apologize. For? I'll apologize for spoiling uh, Reach. Halo? Halo, I guess. That's okay. fair. Um, That's good. I mean, people tune into this for a spoiler-free experience, and yeah, you, and you don't want to apologize for putting a lizard on a bottle rocket and sending it into the stratosphere. You know, I want to apologize for you doing that or ordering thirteen pornos uh, on the know. GTE cable network. I also want to apologize to the old lady who had to see me at my low point. Oh, that's a good, uh, ma'am. If you are watching this, which if you are. Bless you. you so you want to far. apologize for that time that you exposed yourself to an old lady. Did not do that. As a 10-year-old boy. You were Did, pale in the face because all the blood was in your... Did not do that, but do want to apologize for, okay. for that as well. That yeah. poor lady. Yeah, poor thing. Oh, uh, my goodness. All right, Generating. apologies coming up for those again. Just tuning in, the, uh, uh, Vanessa writes the first few sentences of the apology prompt. The rest is written by an the artificial first intelligence. first sentence to Max. Did you be to to does it the rest? Chasm. Let me show you how it's done here. Freaking grow up. I'm trying yeah. not to. You want to be, yeah. Well, I don't want to be like be a, you. I'm not going to be a Toys R Us oh, kid. This is happening. Yeah. We're the same age. You'll Act never, like it. You'll never be a Toys R Us kid. Frick off. I won't freak off. I'm going to freak right here. I'll freak wherever I want. It's going to yeah, freak on you if he wants. Freak right on me. I'll fr oh, I'll put a freak on a leash. Ooh, that you're um, freaking me. <laughs> You All right, GB, you ready? Together. Say Bob Vila. Uh, yeah, Bob I'm Vila. ready to go. Bob Vila. <laughs> Let's see what Ooh, we got. Who Velveeta? 
Yours is a little longer. Whoa, oh, this oh is my hard. God. How much time we got? Okay. I got to be in traffic soon. All right, here we go. Hold on. We could talk about half of a Moon Knight cover with all this time. Yeah. Don't worry. I'll do it. Hello, children. It is I, Golden Boy, here with heart in hand, asking for you to forgive me for spoiling Halo. I'm also sorry to the abuelita who saw me deep in shame. I'm also sorry, Kasim Stinks. Huh? Wait. That's not an apology. What? What? Jalen Hurts Dictionary School, Closing Drive, Jared Kushner, what? Jeff Sessions, what? Kmart, LinkedIn, Clemson University, Derrick Rose, Calculator, mm-hmm. Alabama versus Clemson, <laughs> Lola, Kirk, Tree Man. You are straight up activating NCAA. right now. This is a Q call Browser. to action. Yeah, it's <laughs> not supported. Please update to Chrome slash Firefox. What? Also, enable JavaScript. Sign in, discover the no. best videos. No, watch Kushner. videos no. trending across social media. Watch what's trending around the web. Play trending popular now. See more. What Share Reddit. Reddit. Email. Email. Tumblr. Tumblr. Pinterest. Pinterest. Skip. Tor. Skip. Tor. Full screen pinch to exit full screen. Pause long press to pause menu swipe to open menu net slash pre swipe to change videos like double tap to like full screen pinch to go full screen. It's what to watch. It's what to watch. Okay. Welcome to Subtle TV. <laughs> Subtle TV. The words, the world's videos curated like a cucumber continue with what? Google continue with. Cucumber. After the embarrassment of the last episode, we don't talk about Boosted anymore. Golden Boy decides to play Halo. After he's killed by a grunt, he creates his own new segment called Nerd Boy. <laughs> what? He also decides to stop with the videos as he is unable to make them as good as he used to. <laughs> I guess apology accepted, even though nerd you boy. slammed me unnecessarily in that. I am nerd boy. That was a, that was a, hey, life is a highway. And you I just want to write it. I'll write it all night long. Yeah. Y'all go in my way. I want to ride you all. And then the harmonica part. I don't know how harmonica. Never heard of harmonica. Or the kazoo part. <laughs> a harmonica. Is I, uh, harmonica. Uh, Charlie Brown's principal. Does it say harmonica? <laughs> it does. In the show. <laughs> asim has got to hit traffic. And I said, do we have time for more questions? Or are we out? Uh, I think we got time for a question or two. Oh, great. kasim has got a pee, so let's take. No, no, no. Five let's, no let's do it. I'll, I'd love a question. We have time for one question. Okay. And this is from VD Turd Fergus. Wait, guys, what is the best breakfast food restaurant? Best breakfast food restaurant. Let's end this pancake poppy. Restaurant. Oh, dude. I I love a greasy diner. Greasy diner forever. For me, it's, you know, there's no like chain that's going to happen. I I love that. If you're in Glendale, go to Foxy's. I love that diner in in, uh, downtown LA. The the one that everyone goes to... um, there's During E3. The wood, nickel? The, wood, the nickel? No, the one that's the one that's on, uh, oh my goodness, on the street where the convention center is that everyone goes oh, to. Oh, Starbucks. Oh my God. I know which one you're talking about and I can't remember it for the oh, life the, of Oh, uh, the International House, House of, of Pancakes? Or Burgers. I don't know. Oh, my favorite place? Know. Pans in Inglewood. I pans love with Pans in Inglewood. That's okay. actually my number one. Not a chain though, right? That's my number one. Oh, pans is not a chain and it's also where they film Pulp Fiction. Oh, yeah. It's where the uh, breakfast scene Be happened. Cool. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Be cool. It's fantastic. What? Chicken. Yours was the downtown. That's. Uh, I. You know what? We're just we're just gonna go with IHOP. Even though I'm not, I because I do not remember what the name was called, but I just okay. like greasy diner food. Nickel, homeboy, original pantry. Original pantry. There Boom. Uh, there it is. Original pantry. Hey, we got a store, uh, and you know the best time to get it is a going out of business sale. Shop.g4tv.com. Yeah, all the boost get stuff a- went really fast. <laughs> It's collectible. Boosted. Boosted. <laughs> I know there's music playing because I can hear it here. It's overmodulated. <laughs> Shop.g4tv.com. Get a decanter set. Go to g4tv.com slash schedule. Go to youtube.com slash attack of the show. Game attack. Man. Game man. You can subscribe to the Attack of the Show channel on YouTube. Smash the bell. Share the cukes with your fellow cuke boys. Don't take it's it. not for you. 
Rest in power to Boosted. Thank you so much to Vanessa, to Kasim, to GB for guesting this. Do this again sometime. First vibe check. Thank you so much for Had joining. I hope you do again. Thank you. A sincere thank you to everybody who watches. Please follow, subscribe, like this stuff. Because if you don't, <laughs> we're <laughs> screwed. Be here anymore. <laughs> It's great. Are you okay? Seriously, mm -hmm. tell a friend. Yeah. Get him out to the party. Hand out flyers. Yeah. Tell a friend. Thank you. Scream it at church. Yell it at an old lady. Post it on your Zenga account. Scream it at the produce section. There's no Yell it time at a bird. or place to promote a vibe check. So please let people know that we're back. Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you again to our Discord members. Thank you for the Reddit. Thank you to our moderators. Thank you to our amazing crew. Kisses, hugs, and belly rubs. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye.